Sorry, we were watching Battlestar Galactica. How we doing, friends? Look at what we got here. Penny wanted to say hi. She was very interested in hanging out. Wait. Oh, there's no desktop audio, but that's fine. Hi, guys. Look at me. I got floopy ears. Floopy, floopy, floopy. Penny just woke up from a nap and wanted to say hello. She wanted to say hello. Okay, let's see. We need some background music that I forgot to turn on. We'll go to Victoria today, I think. There we go. Hello. There we go. Perfect. Now we're all set. Now we're all set. Okay, Penny, I do need to steal the chair back. Yeah, they need it. Oh, you, oh, you need it. You need your back. Oh, yeah, it. Oh, yeah, it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need the chair. Okay. Move your bottom. Move your bottom. Okay, good girl. Hang out with Dad for now. Okay, so I'm here. I've got the puppies. The camera's way off. Hello. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now we're now we have a, a face. Now we're here. Okay, so interesting start to the stream. But we um are gonna play a little more Rule Waves. We're in a pretty good spot right now we're playing as japan we managed to take over a fair amount of possessions over here we've got ourselves a good fleet uh we we have we did lose a couple battleships but not my fault um and we've been going through a massive rebuild so we've got uh four classes of battleships in right now so generation one generation two so this is uh with full wing turrets generation two had cross deck fire Generation 3 was all centerline. Generation 4 is also all centerline, just slightly different. It has more protection, but fewer guns. And then we technically have Generation 6 and Generation 7 battleships building right now. So, 6 is a one-off. Uh, I decided to build a ship with 13-inch guns to see if the it would spur the game on to providing me with better guns because i have not gotten any guns higher than quality uh zero 12 inch yet so i was like let's try using some of the 13s that these are negative two quality 13 inch guns so they're garbage which is why it's a fairly small one-off ship uh and then this is our generation seven uh 16 12 inch guns on these bad boys four quad turrets and i wanted to put more on there but the game was like you know what that's a bad idea uh, we also have new cruisers coming, armed with eight, nine-inch guns. We are putting um, maximum amount of uh, of dual-purpose guns on our ships right now, just absolutely flooding them with the uh, single four-inch dual-purpose guns, which unfortunately means we are really, really heavy on the the heavy AA, but really, really light on the uh, light and medium AA because the uh, four inches are all in single mounts instead of doubles, so they take up a fuckload of uh, topside space. Uh, we are building new raiders. So these are purpose-built light cruisers for long-range raiding. So they're lightly armed and armored, but they're fast. They have float planes. They have mines. They have torpedoes. Uh, they got a lot of shit. They're, they're optimized for going out and causing trouble. Um, and that's what's in, under construction right now. And a lot of this is almost done. These three cruisers are nearly finished, which is going to free up a ton of space. Yeah, those are very nice raiders. Very nice raiders. And then we got, actually do have our first converted light carriers, which are old, um, like, early, early armored cruisers that got rebuilt. Uh, we actually have some armed merchant cruisers in here. We've got uh, seaplane tenders. Got a buttload of destroyers. We got so many destroyers now. We're good. We're in a good spot. We have a huge budget at the moment. It's to the point where it's actually causing a little bit of unrest, and... I'm going to build some docks there. And the British are mad at me for some reason. Does tech rate effect unlock dates for tech? So that's one of the, the, the major issues with the game is... No, it does not. Uh, the There's a lot of things in the game that are hard-coded to fire at specific dates. 
and those dates are not affected by changing the tech speed, which usually causes problems. It, 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 it's a, it, the two systems don't work together well. I also have the no big, yes, that's a common bug. Hey, Anto, how you doing? Hey, Anto, I think you're still alive, aren't you? Or maybe you're, oh, you are still alive. Look at you. Look at you. You even got rebuilt we for, We love um, you. Shut up, baby, I know recently. it. Hey, Utari, good to see ya. How's it been? Wedding is coming up soon, isn't it? If, I, if my terrible memory serves. Uh, and yes, um, in all of my time playing Rule the Waves 3, which accounts to, let's take a look at Steam, um... which is almost 200 hours so far. I have never unlocked anything above 14 inch guns and I've only unlocked 14 inch guns once. So there definitely is a uh, an issue with the game that's widely been reported of gun tech not progressing correctly. All the techs fire off in roughly the same order but delayed a few years. Uh, yes, I mean, like, like delaying the tech speed theoretically should mean that, but there are techs like, um, uh, the, the access to oil and, uh, airplanes and stuff like that, that just happen at a date. You missed yesterday? Oh, world, you missed a world war. I was at war with Germany, France, and Russia at the same time. Uh, let's see. One of our captains of the Sevel has been implicated in a scandal involving copious amounts of champagne and an admiral's daughter. Well, I got tons of prestige. It's fine. Yeah. Oh my god, that was like six pre Jesus Christ, that was like six prestige. I've gotten 14 inches by 1915, but uh, I'll have 18s, 20s, and then 17s fire within the same year. Really strange. Nor what I've seen is the normal for me is that nothing above 12 seemed to ever fire, and nothing. And a lot of times the higher quality guns never fire either. I very, 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 very rarely see the gun uh, gun tech progress. Like I've never seen a, uh, I've never gotten a, a plus one quality gun in the game in the 200 hours I've played so far. Not once have I seen that. Uh, we have some more uh, rebuilds to do too. Uh, ooh, new seaplanes, which we will be using. Have the AI, I've seen the AI get larger guns before, but at, at about the same rate that I do, which is almost never. Because right now, everybody in the game is running around with 12s and sometimes 13s. Uh, okay, speed. We, we really want, like, max range. So, this one. Take that one. Uh, upgraded Gecko. A higher speed, higher range. More firepower. Is that a 15? That's a 1,500-pound bomb. We'll take it. New fighter. Uh, oh, my God. Everybody's... Everybody's developing new planes all of a sudden. Uh, so this is four years newer. The Shiden. Uh, higher speed. Higher range. Uh, less firepower, less maneuverability, and less toughness. But frankly, it's a seaplane. It's for scouting, so speed and range. Rebels in Bougainville. Okay, so the British took Bougainville. The rebels defeated the British uh, 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 in Bougainville pretty quickly. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, so most things are being rebuilt right now for anti-aircraft guns and improved fire control. So we are in the positive right now and I have a lot of funds in the bank, so I need to keep that rolling. Especially because these are popping off. Uh, it's going to free up a lot of money. So that's these two. Oh. Oh, such good cruisers. Look at them, so bristly. They're bristling. Okay, the Varkors. Uh, I don't think these can get direct. I think I think I need different. Yeah, these can't get improved directors bag yet. Abdu guy. Thanks for the cheer there. Eat a bag of doodles. Just changed the the landed uh, uh, based air base 97 by files uh, to 1970, but it fired in 1915, so I guess it doesn't work. Same thing happened with me. Um, my guess is that there's something else affecting it other than just that one thing. So 
I don't know. It's it's really hard to to suss. There's so many. Though this game is built so weirdly, it's hard to suss out how things will affect other things. So yeah, I I failed to get my air bases to not fire either. So we're just gonna keep playing. And uh, next game, I'll try a different a uh, different way of modding it. Uh, let's see. So the Total Wars were rebuilt in 1922. So they got okay. Okay, we can we can change those. Up. Actually, their engines are getting a little old too. So it might be time to replace those with coal or uh, oil turbines and get them up to 27 knots. So these guys are pretty good. They're they're jam packed full of five inch guns, and they got a couple four inch guns. So we could just dual purpose those. We have uh, below the water torpedo. If anything, because topside capacity is such a crutch now. I'm wondering if keeping like below the waterline torpedo tubes on cruisers longer is because normally by this time I'd be ripping all these out, replacing them with uh, like quad racks on the um, the what's it called? Yeah, the camera's uh, uh, autofocus is a little off right now. Yeah, let's uh. Doesn't it doesn't want to uh, focus on my face that well? Um. So, but, but because these don't take up topside load, it's just, maybe we keep them on. It's mildly useful. All right, well, uh, let's see, what can we do here? We leave all the five inch guns on her. Uh, we just dual purpose the four inch guns. Which will mean we'll have to take off two light anti-aircraft guns to do that. And then I might be able to get her, that might be legal. I can't increase this yet. I can't give her director fired thingies acid to lose I'm not saying I use them to uh, uh, do torpedo runs but usually it's for finishing off ships or just launching long range shots to try to get people to turn I'm not using them as destroyers but it is very useful to have them on there uh, I think we'll just do something like that. Ship is overweight, so we'll have to lose a little bit of weight somewhere. Uh, maybe we can take off. I mean, I don't need to lose a lot of weight. Maybe take off, like, a pair of five-inch guns. You know, uh, the, the ship doesn't use very much weight in ammo, so I'd have to take off, like, a third of her ammo to make up that spot. Uh, we could do something just like, um, like, delete two. This one is the, the mirror one. Yeah, we just take off two of her five-inch guns. I'm allowed to do that, right? Yeah. What can I do with these guns, anyway? They do. They could go into four-inch double turrets, and these could theoretically. I get a lot of four-inch guns on the ship if I wanted to. Um, so that freed up the space. I don't think I'll have enough to do that. No. No. So now I have extra weight uh, and a little bit more topside load. Can I, do I? Is there enough to do this? Okay. So let's do that. We'll replace some of the five inch guns with more fours and then load her up with ammo give her more ammo yeah we'll do that so give a little bit more heavy aa at the expense of uh slightly less firepower and you're it, ju it just popped off the slipways there's three of them and they haven't had it they haven't even worked up yet they finished like a minute ago they're just hanging out right there. Oh, two of them are done. But the third one will be done in a few months. Okay, we're going to save this, I think. So the Total Wars will get their rebuilds. Uh, it's, what was what, 10 months? 12 months, that's not too bad. King of Waldo gets the improved directors. Every, like all the, the Europeans the Italians are offering to sell us the rights to quality one three inch guns which right now I'm not using pretty much any three inch guns 
Uh, but quality one three inch guns? I don't. Now that I think about it, does the quality affect anti aircraft capabilities at all? I don't know. Of course, I will buy it. Never gonna say no. No, reduce. Okay, a bit of uh, four hundred and sixty nine. Basically, what are they gonna do to my budget? Secure. No, 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 no. We need tensions up. Yes, this one. Okay, okay. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. 40,000 ton ships ready to convert to carriers. Uh, no, my biggest ship is... The biggest ship I have built is 30,000 tons, and it's a new battleship, so it, it ain't converting. We only just built 40,000 ton docks. Uh, oh, Waldo is zippy. That's good to see. Waldo came out fast. Major foreign policy crisis has erupted in Great Britain. Let's get those tensions up. Let's do this. Ooh. Reduced penalty for own ship turning for the fire control. Uh, advanced signaling for less signal errors. Good. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Okay, let's, uh, let's mobilize the fleet. That got the British all riled up. Uh, the British do have possessions in Southeast Asia. Unfortunately... If memory serves, destroyer based sneak attacks no longer fire after 1925. And it's 1926. Um, I think the way it works is up to 1925, you get destroyer sneak attacks. And then after that, it's submarine sneak attacks for like 10 years. And then I think from 35 on, it's aircraft carrier sneak attacks. But, uh, let's. Why is he using China? Uh, everybody, everybody's in China. <laughs> Bunch of stuff over here. Uh, okay, so let's let's do the blue sharks in the Universalises. So the newer ones will go south. Again, we'll send. I think we'll send a lot of the, the new ships south. So uh, the new the ki the king the king classes the king of Rome's. Uh, the Lady Magnuses will go with the fleet. The two aircraft carriers. Uh, two seaplane tenders. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve destroyers. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen destroyers. And one, two, three, four, five, six corvettes for mine clearing. And these guys are going to get moved to Southeast Asia. Uh, yeah, and like I said, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure we don't get destroyer sneak attacks anymore. And I don't know how submarine sneak attacks work. And I think about it, I don't even know if I have any subs. Apparently I do. They were built in, some of them in 1905. Let's see. Oh, yep, there it is. No, yeah, no opportunity for sneak attack found. So, uh, the, the way it also works, I was re reading through the manual the other day, uh, and by the other day, I mean earlier today. Um, the way it works is there's an 80% chance of a sneak attack firing, and then that's only if there are ships that are, uh, uh, viable for a sneak attack. Like, there's not much over here. I was hoping we'd be able to do something. According to this, the, the British have a battleship and a battle cruiser over here, so it would have been great to sneak attack them. But no such luck. Uh, anywho. Do we want to try to get an invasion off? Before they send a, a buttload of ships over? We'll try it. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, uh, trade protection. Uh, so. Hang on, hang on. We want to put... Maybe not these, I, I do, these guys are, well, they're my foreign service ships right now, technically. Uh, I think we set these guys to fuck around. Oh God, um. 
put him on trade protection. Because I tried to send him out before to uh, to get to Northern Europe, and they never made it. The, the, the Raiders are not done. They've got another month or a year to go. So they're not going to be done anytime soon, unfortunately. Shiza. So let's do this. Let's take uh, a smattering of destroyers and put them on trade protection. The old ones. And then... Could use more Corvettes, honestly. Are these the ones... Which of the... I gotta mark these in the future. Open design. Okay, these ones do not have mine sweeping gear on them. So these ones can all go on trade production too. That'll get me up to 18 or 12. Where, where do the British have possessions? I could put them in the Indian Ocean. That might be good. Here, let, let's do this. Um, ships in service. We'll take the two armed merchant cruisers. We'll put them on Raider. Uh, and then we'll move one to the Indian Ocean. And we'll move the other one into... See if we can get her into the Mediterranean. To fuck around with them. Cool. And then I guess we just grab a bunch of these guys. And we put them on trade protection as well. So we get 18 on there. And I think we're good. Can we take India from the Brits? Uh, I don't know. I don't think you could take India from the Brits. I've never done that before, but it might be viable. I've never seen it happen, though. Okay, the sun is 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 going up, so... Well, we got one of the Lady Magnuses. We got Lady Magnus herself here. Average poor admin, poor ship handler. Oh, shit. We got a couple cruiser here is all. That's unfortunate. Well, let's see what happens. Hopefully there's not a British battle cruiser down here. Oh, you know what I really need to do too? Is I need to assign uh, planes. Actually, it's saying there's battleships here. Which probably means I'm very heavily outgunned. Well, let's see what happens. Maybe maybe it's not that bad. I'm gonna save my Corvettes. Maybe it's just colossal mis uh, uh, misidentifications. I don't know. No, no, nobody scored a hit. Oh, there we go. Score, there, there's a hit. I need airplanes in my bases. I don't know why, but this, this, this one looks hairy. No, it's just a destroyer. The bad weather means nobody's hitting anything. Uh, nine. They got depth charge throwers and nine above water torpedo tubes. So they got good. They got good guys. So we need to add. Um, at the very least, what I'd like to do is put the uh, float planes in the bases for anti-submarine work. Uh, I just saw a fuckload of tor. Fuck a load of torpedoes over here, and then somebody got hit with a torpedo. Uh. <laughs> yeah, the heavy it's heavy rain, so we can't see the broad side of a barn. Can't see, can't hit, can't do anything with the broad side of a barn. Yeah, this is this is kind of sad. Whoa! Wow! Wow! That guy got really fucking close before we spotted him. All right, it's Leander. Uh, six six-inch guns, sixty-two hundred tons, thirty rated for thirty knots, but she's already taken heavy damage. We just kind of stumbled upon her. Okay, she did. He did. Did I put torpedoes on these? I did. Above water torpedo. Oh, they got quad launchers. Good. Good. Okay. Okay. Well, with an enemy cruiser sunk, 
in theory. Wait. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, son of a bitch! I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean I got hit with a torpedo? So I just stumbled right into a hornet's nest. And, uh, yep, yep, both ships took hits. I actually don't even know how that one took a hit. Stumbled right into a hornet's nest. Both ships took torpedoes. Uh... Let's, let's see if we can't get them the fuck out of here. Yep, there's another one. Ah, uh, fucking A. Yep, yep, yep. I, I thought it was clear from here to the base, so I was just not paying attention and letting them go north. But no, uh, these guys do have torpedo protection. But I don't know if one of the, either of these ships can take that. I don't know, the flooding's under control. As long as we don't get torpedoed again! Oh god. If they if these guys survive this, it's gonna be a minor miracle. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Leave me! They can only make five knots. Actually, can they make more than that? They, nope, only five knots. They can only make five knots. Here, uh, I need to try to uh, throw some torpedoes out there. Line ahead. Just to try to slow them down. Get them off my ass. Uh, I don't know what that unidentified ship is, but she's right on my butt, so... Fire uh, a load of torpedoes at her. It's probably just a destroyer, but we'll see. Yeah, let's slow this down. I got him to turn away. That's what I needed. It's amazing that we managed to get the flooding under control of those ships, but we need to get back to the port. And I'd really love to not lose any of these destroyers, so I'm going to take control of them and try to get them to do less stupid things. Yes! Oh god, they're on me again! <laughs> Eating multiple torpedoes this early on really sucks. Squad Max, nope, still can't make any more than that. These are brand new ships, I don't want them to die! Misjudges, uh, the commander uh, Okada misjudges his maneuver while entering port and poor visibility. Uh, Lady Magnus hit a battleship and a destroyer. That's impressive. Uh, okay, so even more damage. Well, fuck me. Why is time not going forward? There we go. Yeah, we'll just do this now. Okay, well, that, that took a turn. Um... I sank a cruiser, so at the end of the day, they lost a ship. I may have taken out like two destroyers. Come back at the right time, yep. Yep, 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 just started war with the British. Things are gonna get spicy. What, uh, what I'm interested in is, uh, is war with the British alone gonna be worse than war with the Germans and the Russians and the French? Because that war was, I, I kicked some ass in that war. And it wasn't really that bad. I, there was no point where I was like, oh, I'm in danger. I feel like the British could be worse though. This is a really fuck off long battle. 1100 minutes. The British have a larger fleet than any of them individually, but not collectively. So they're firing out a lot of the land batteries. They're all knocked out, but did land 74 fucking hits. My god. It's like the most I've ever seen a land battery land. No pun intended. 74 six inch shells is a lot of damage. Uh, so I lost one destroyer and then two Corvettes. But they lost two cruisers and two destroyers in that. So let's see. The Phoenix. 
took 30 medium hits. That must have been the, the, the shore battery. And then this is the one I sank. Uh, Lady Magnus heavily damaged. Oh my god, barely made it back to port. Is the battleship she ran into listed? In no, it's not listed on the damage. Okay. All right, that could have been that could have been worse. I got the victory points there. Honcho's in the yard with engine troubles. Fifty-eight ships finished working up. Magazine box protection available now. Uh, so that's oh, Austria Hungary joins in. Nice. I forgot. I honestly forgot about them. Um, ooh, uh, I'm, I'm running at negative 10,000 now. That's, that's pretty chonky. If I can make it six months, yeah, I can make it six months. Then, uh, 4,600 drops off. Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. I'm trying to play with the very small fleet modifier. I find that the, the, the small, I, I always max out the fleet size because I want as, I want as many ships to play with as possible just because I find it more fun. Okay, Anto is still da is damaged from something. Um, oh, so the Varkour's got mine loads too. I, I, I forgot about these. I, I designed these to be chuckle fuckery too. I should send them out. Um, they don't have, they, they don't, they don't have extend, extendo ranges. So it's probably not a good idea to send them too far. But, like, we could send some to the South Pacific. Uh, I just put a bunch of... The Indian Ocean is crawling with British people. And West Africa. So let's do this. Let's do uh, two to West Africa. Three to the Indian Ocean. And put them all on Raider. Because they got mines. I'd love to steal some Australia. Troops are embarking for the invasion of Hong Kong. All right. So we've got, what do we, oh. We got the King class, they've joined it in. Joined in. They have very joined it in. Down here, we've got my two carriers. They don't have strike craft. They're only armed with fighters. Uh, and I've got the Universalis class, or the Ju Juniversalis class, which is my newest battleships. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so you are going to be support for the battleships. You guys are going to be support for the battleships. Put them on AI control. Uh, and then... Oh, it's been a while, so maximum cap. Although I don't see any aircraft here, so. I don't see any uh, aircraft designated circles. All right, we've got two. We got two very, oh, okay. So we've got two of the very old cruisers here as well. The rum lines. And working killer. Oh no, that wasn't working killer. Oh my God. That was working killer joined the, it was Deflocky. The there we go. To Flocky, welcome, welcome. So we've got the oldest cruisers and the newest cruisers. AC range button is off. Uh, which one is it? That's radar. Oh, that's air ranges. Oh, so they do have uh, torpedo bombers available. That's terrifying. Well, I th thankfully I put anti-aircraft guns on all of my ships, right? Yes, I put a lot of heavy AA on my ships too. So. And we've already set up the cap. So let's uh, let's hope we don't get... Okay, that is enemy everything. So I'm thinking we turn south with the cruisers then. The New Zealand class. So we, I see a lot of enemy capital ships. This is fine. Those are the fighter recons. All right, so we're going straight. We're, we're going straight at them. So turn north to bring the guns to bear. Let's turn the cruisers around because we don't need them getting uh, directly engaged here with their battle cruisers. So what is a? Uh, okay, there's two invincibles here with 12-inch guns and only actually 
My my cruisers are outgunned, but their gunner but their guns are perfectly capable of penetrating that armor. They're also faster than these ships, so I can get away. Oh, and the Andromeda takes the first 12-inch hit. Okay, she's got uh, five guns super firing forwards, and then a double in the middle, and then a triple at the end. Interesting. Also, don't forget, British ships are more more susceptible to kerplosions. The lion has been hit. Is the lion one of the ones that blew up at Jutland? I love that there's a lot of uh, battle cruisers here. Renown, we got the Royal Sovereign, all 12 inch guns. We got the Rodney, 12 inch guns. We got the Vanguard, which is fairly old. The Agamemnon, which is less fairly old. There's a lot, there's a lot of fucking battleships here. All right. I'm gonna have the cruisers run north. Rodney took a hit. Aldrin got a pass through. Rodney took a hit. Royal Sovereign took a hit. So we're just trading blows now, but the battle cruisers already pulled out a line. All right, you guys pivot north a little bit. I'm just in front of them, which is good. It's a good thing. This is fairly close. This is fairly close. 11 and a half thousand yards, so that's half range. Not sure why I didn't want to bother. Honestly, like, two and a half, three inches of deck armor is kind of like, makes you impervious. Oh shit. You, you can, you can leave. Colonists took a couple hits. Uh, so they're, fl they're flying cap for themselves. The carriers, that is. Uh, I'm going to uh, make a torpedo run here with just this single destroyer because they're if they're gonna sit in line I'm going to make a run Oop. Uh, Kevin Maldala Delind or whatever its name is took a hit uh, the battle cruisers are doing a, a doodle we are in torpedo we're just outside of torpedo range here that's fine here uh, pivot and yes the I, I, they they are in a knife fight. Okay, they immediately turned away. They are in a knife fight, but that's kind of what we got here. Renown took a couple. So we got two running battles at the moment. Uh, I'm thinking... Yeah, can you just do like an, a max range... Bara uh, like uh, a doodle there and just see what happens. Oh, they launched even more. Ooh. Well, they didn't see him. Oh, Invincible and Calypso both took a hit. I think it was the lead ship. I think the lead Invincible and that one, yeah. Oh, Calypso ate another one. Woo! Eat a bag of dicks. Oh, God. And Invincible's not looking so... Oh, she just got away. That was it. I, I honestly, that was, a, that was an amazing shot. I didn't think that would fly. Okay. Uh, oh, we do have Cap here. Good. Cap is in. I, I didn't think we'd actually get Cap out this far, but so far so good. Okay. Okay. Pivot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they they know my tactics. Okay. Uh, go back to AI control. You guys go this way. Uh, okay, that one of those cruisers is... What happened to you? Six heavy hits. Okay, yeah, that'll do it. So you need to immediately fall out of formation here. And that Calypso's dead. That Invincible... Okay, what we're going to do is send the cruisers back around and see if they can't finish off the Invincible there. Yeah, they're landing hits, and this thing only has six inches of armor. 
Calypso is 6,200 tons, so that's pretty good. Uh, we we definitely did a good job in the, the gunfight with the British battleships. We got a lot of hits, a lot more hits in. Uh, did Blue Shark slow down? 15 knots. Back! Saltwater enters the feed tanks. Alright, let's try to keep them together. These guys are fine now. It's another formation up here. Let's turn you around then. Which really not doing too bad considering they've taken heavy hits. Uh, let's ask them to keep firing at the invincible though. And the second Invincible looks like she's trying to go for my older cruiser, so I'm going to make a torpedo run. Or, or, or she just leaves. And now, uh, what, what's the opposite of crossing the T? Uh, 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 raking, that's what it's called. I'm passing behind them. I'm going to, I'm going to rake the British. Hopeful, hopefully. Heavy damage to the Royal Sovereign. No, 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 don't fire at the Calypso. We don't care about her. Teeing the cross. Yeah, there we go. Honestly, these, like, oh, you're out of torpedoes. Those extreme range torpedo launches seem to do way better than the close range ones. I, feel, I, I, I don't know if it's it, it might just be observational bias but I feel like there is a uh, a range in which the AI is less likely to notice the launch of a, of a salvo so like if you're within a certain range they're they're very likely to to see them uh, see the launch. So there's another four out. Uh, I love that we have the cap of, uh, uh, here. It's actually working. All right, that's the damaged Invincible. But it looks like we are going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Rodney right now. Oh, yeah. She's taking hits. How are we doing? Had 15 heavy hits. Two. Two, and only one. So, the Junta Versalis is the one taking most of it. What is Cap Combat Air Patrol? Uh, so that is the the fighter sent off by my carriers to just uh, patrol over the the battleships. Ooh, Vanguard just ate it too. Rodney, she's still firing. These guys are just ripping up the Calypso on the way past because, of course, they are. I think Rodney... Oh! I was just about to say, I think Rodney took a critical hit because... Ooh! Oh, spicy! Um, she she did, like, a like a real quick 90-degree turn there. But now, but now she's gone. So, the first British... Uh, so, I think there's something wrong with our ships has occurred. Oh, shit. Um... Sorry, guys. So now they are firing on the, 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 the Invincible, the Vanguard, and the Royal Sovereign. If I could get another ship destroyed, I would be very happy with two capital ships uh, sunk. And it looks like the Invincible's gonna get it because we have her on the broadside and crossing the T. She just took five heavy hits. One of her guns is knocked out. She's slowed down. Heavy damage. Okay, turn north. These guys uh, are going to be stuck at 15 knots, so there's not so much they can do right now. Vanguard just took a weird turn, too. She might have a rudder hit. So very pleased to see the British die like that. That's just lovely. 
Wait, this is an invasion. Shouldn't there be a a fleet of transports somewhere? That is that is <laughs> the carriers are very interested in protecting themselves. There they are. Okay. I'm gonna put these on AI control so they don't fuck off too much. We're gonna run out of ammo before we run out of British people to shoot. Invincible's still taking hits. Heavy damage. Agamemnon, heavy damage. Royal Sovereign has not been hit yet. Or at least if she has, not that badly. Yeah, this feels this feels good. Honestly, those twelve, some of those twelve-inch shells might not be doing much damage because we might be overpenetrating. She's only got six inches of armor. Ooh, she just looks like she's slowed down a bunch too. All right, uh, let's turn in towards them and try to close the distance. I want to make sure that we're either driving them into port so that the transports can get uh, home, home, or to the to the invasion spot, or sinking them. Uh, yeah, go pick up. Uh, wait, survivors from the Rodney. Was the Rodney the one that blew up? Oh shit! We have air combat. They shot down a scout. It was the Rodney. Okay, so they picked up two survivors. We we have we have achieved air combat. The Vanguard. Oh, the invin this Invincible is absolutely getting smashed now. We've crossed the T on the other Invincible. Medium damage. They're both taking hits. Feel like these guys, uh, yeah, the crews on these have not really are not really that great. So like we've got a very abysmal. Yeah, we might have to start using some sap. Um, very abysmal accuracy rating on these ships. These guys, they 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 are really running low on ammo. Let's have these guys pivot off now. They're not having a good time there. Let's see, this in, ooh, who, Shigure is sinking. Oh, apparently she went to have a, a, a standoff with the field artillery piece. Uh, this invincible is pretty much dead in the water now. No! The Brit it looks to me like the British fleet is a mess. More, A little bit more uh, air combat. They've, they're taking out recon. Okay. Cruisers are running low on ammo. I know what sap is uh, IRL, but the manual says nothing about it. God damn the manual for this game. It needs to be like, it needs to be like a hundred pages longer. Uh, the semi-armor piercing ammo has uh, reduced armor penetration uh, capabilities, which is good because what you could, uh, in certain cer cer situations, so that uh, basically you could tell the, the ships if they're firing like very high caliber gun to use semi-armor piercing at a softer target so that instead of, over so to reduce the chance of over penetrating, like a... A 12-inch gun at point-blank range against an enemy battlecruiser is going to go clean through, unless it hits, like, an engine or something like that. Uh, so if you're using semi-armor piercing ammo, it's good to try to maximize damage against softer targets. I love seeing the, the, the cap doing some damage. Everybody's running out of ammo. <laughs> Everybody's running out of ammo. Okay, Agam Agamemnon just took a couple hits. So, even at the end of the day, if a lot of these don't sink, Jesus Christ, this coastal ar artillery battery has no chill. 
It's like a four-inch battery just sh throwing shells into this destroyer. Hell, the transports, they're way back here. So those guys are going back to port, which is fine. So we'll turn south now. Oh! <laughs> Woo! That's two! I was just turning away too. Agamemnon took a shot and went up in flames. Oh, I forgot how fun it can be to fight the British. All right, uh, these destroyers still have all their torpedoes, so line ahead formation, maximum speed, and flip around here. We're gonna see if we can't uh, do a run on the Royal Sovereign here. But she's just kind of uh, flying around in a straight line there. So we'll launch uh, a big salvo of eight torpedoes in her path. Whoa! Hey, that's three! <laughs> the invincible blows up. Oh, they got they they got positively jutlinded. All right, real sovereign took a torpedo hit there. Took one. That's excellent. She's turning away now. She's definitely slowed down too. She slowed way down. All right, let's do it. Let's do another uh, another salvo. Oh come on! You got you got a, you got you got a solution. I guess pivot a little bit. Give me a pivot. Yeah, there we go. Do another salvo. To be fair, it makes the Royal Navy nearly unplayable as every large battle. You lose one or two ships to flash fires, uh, something with uh, no uh, damage overall. Hey, I think that's actually honest, uh, honestly pretty fun. Um, the one time, I've only played the British as a series once. And what I did was I um, I purposely designed the ships to explode. Like, I, 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 made, I, I just loaded them up with all sorts of, aw, design flaws. So they were more likely to explode. And it was, it was a very fun series. And in all, in all fairness, again, the British do have more money than God. So you could, you could build a lot of fuck off ships. Doesn't matter so much if a couple of them uh, blow up when you have like 57 battleships. Maybe we can do a, a run on the Vanguard with my last torpedoes. She's doing. She's kind of wiggly though, so I'm 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 thinking probably not gonna get a hit. But what I'm gonna do is launch my last eight torpedoes here. If she doesn't wiggle out of the way, it'll be a good salute. Well, she did a little wiggle there. Looks like they're running a little. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Two battleships just ran, ran out of 12-inch shells. Oh, they all missed. So my, I don't think I've ever done that before. I had my, my main ships all run out of ammo. It's because we're firing 12-inch guns, which fire faster. These guys still have ammo, though. Oh no, is that a cruiser? Oh shit! Uh, apparently I've got a cruiser stuck over here. Well, it's one of the old ones. I don't know how she got stuck in this corner, but she did. And uh, it seems like we're having a little con little uh, control trouble with the uh, the captain there. Turn the correct direction, moron. Oh, you're getting torpedoed right, right in the butt. Let's see if we can get her out of there. These guys are out of ammo. So the Vanguard uh, has not taken a torpedo, but she is damaged.
Do you still have torpedoes? Uh, I did leave torpedoes inside this ship. Okay, we got one... We got one torpedo. On each side. Fire. Oh, son of a balls! That looks so good. That looks so good. Well, we're gonna lose one uh, heavy cruiser, but it was one of the oldest ones in the fleet, so. All right, well, we're out of ammo now, so it's time to retire. Uh, I should probably grab control of the carriers and send them out. I mean, that was a smashing victory. I destroyed at least three British capital ships and damaged, I think, all of the rest of them. And, and then that includes a couple, um, a couple smaller ships destroyed, too. And who knows what'll happen with the, the transports. Fighters are coming back in. And there goes the sun. I don't know what they still, who's still over there. Oh, there's a Corvette over there, like, continuing the battle. So everybody performed it, uh, pretty well. Um, the new heavy cruisers couldn't hit the broadside of a barn, unfortunately, which sucks because they did have a lot of really good firing solutions, but new crews, not surprising. And now we just wait to the end of the battle. There we go, everybody start going back home as best as possible. Fire to destroy, so there's a destroyer out there somewhere, too. Uh, oh, okay, they found the transports. Oh, well. I mean, if the, uh, if the what's it called doesn't, if the, uh, I mean... Theoretically, the transport, it's weird. It's, it's very weird. The transports don't need to survive to win the battle. Because at the end of the day, for some reason... The battle is won or lost based on how many points you got, not how, not not if the <laughs> the transport survived. So the transports can all die, and you can still win the invasion. Okay, I lost one heavy cruiser, one destroyer, and still only four of the twelve transports. They lost two battleships. One battle cruiser, one light cruiser, and one destroyer. So, one of those heavily. So the Royal Oak was sunk. The Agamemnon we watched explode. So who did that? Unta Versalis hit her with an HE round. Oh no, that was apparently after she exploded. No, that was the Universalis hit her. No, that, that was this line right here. So she... Wow! An HE round hit the top of the turret and detonated the ship. That's amazing. Uh, and then there's the Invincible. She exploded. And let's see. The Royal Sovereign made it back with a torpedo hit. The Superb made it back with a torpedo hit. No, no, no. She didn't get... Aw, oh, she almost... Almost was destroyed, though. But overall, great battle. Also, we shot down some airplanes. 18,000 victory points, and the, the troops landed in Hong Kong. Uh, new naval patrol aircraft is ready for service. New float plane is ready for service. Fighting, uh, well, of course, it continues in Hong Kong. Uh, I, I don't know if I can afford airplanes right now, though. Wait, uh, I, okay, I'm paying 700 ducats a month. Oh my god, those are expensive as fuck. 32 aircraft cost 700 ducats a month. 32 fighters. 
Because that's all I've got. Is the 32... I think it's 32. Right? Yeah. Jesus Christ, they're expensive. Yeah, I have to worry about my budget. I got like I got like four blimps or something like that. And we already did the math on those. The blimps are dirt cheap. I think I got one blimpy boy somewhere. Yeah. I got eight airships. They cost they, th those cost almost nothing. Hmm. I was gonna put planes in these bases, but now I'm like, that's really expensive considering the fact I'm running at not minus ten thousand. So I think we'll have to wait. Until at least some of these pop off. Because I can't afford planes right now. Oh god. A about a few British people are showing up soon though. That's eight battleships, six battle cruisers. It's about a few. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, it might behoove me to send more ships south, though. <laughs> Maybe we send all the buzzards as well. To Southeast Asia. Uh, these guys are all in Northeast Asia, so send them the... Oh, that's only... There's only... No, no, no. Okay, these ones. Send to Southeast Asia. Sebels, I'm going to put on Raider... Rum line. I'm going to put you on Raider 2. Cool, cool. Alright, that's fine. Convoy attack. Ooh, I, oh, I love convoy attacks. They always decline. Proof depth chart tra racks for better anti-submarine warfare. The Mitsubishi Company has a new naval patrol aircraft with less speed and less range and less firepower. The slightly increased bomb load. I'm gonna I'm gonna say no to that one. And the Javan, one of our armed merchant cruisers has already been interred. Yeah, I'm, I was concerned about this enemy. Oh no, that's enemy merchant sunk. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong line. My raiders are doing a great job. Austria Hungary's adding in points. What is what have they got? And the, Austria has a, a about a few ships in the eleven battleships. So they have eighteen capital ships. They have a light carrier. The British do not have any carriers yet. The Austrians do. They only have one armored cruiser. They Okay, so the Austrians are really top-heavy. They have 18 capital ships, then nothing in the middle. The British have a lot of naval aircraft, so the same as the French. I've got 52. Where is that number coming from? Um What the fuck? I clearly only have 32 aircraft. Oh, this, uh, the float planes. No, you're right. Yeah, the seat, the, the float planes. Okay, okay. So there's that, there's that. 20 float planes, yeah. Okay, so there, there, there. That adds up. Okay, okay, okay. I was about to say, that's a little chuckle fuckery. No, 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 that's, that's fair. I have seaplanes. That's fair, that's fair. The sun's coming down. We're right outside Hong Kong. All I've got is two light cruisers. Okay. Don't put me up against battle cruisers, please. Okay, uh, right. Uh, okay, that's very close. Oh my god! That was a lot of torpedoes in the water real, real quick. It's, it... it it's so dangerous. Right now, nighttime operations are so freaking dangerous. Nobody has any ra- I'm not- I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna go for it. I- I have no radar yet. Nobody has any radar yet. But everybody's got fucking triple and quad twos. And a million destroyers. So there's tons of torpedoes in the water, but nobody can see each other till they're at point-blank range. 
Yeah, that was a very small engagement. Nobody hit anybody with anything. She played as a crew of 100 uses a battleship worth of fuel per sortie. It's why they're so damn expensive. That's one thing I'd like to mod, too, if I could figure out a way to do it. I feel like the, um, the, the aircraft maintenance cost is way too high. Enemy submarine took out one of our uh, Corvettes. Cause that that is an obscene price for 52 aircraft. 52 small, light, early game aircraft. It's not like a formation of four engine bombers or even seaplanes. It's just a couple float planes and some single engine fighters. I need more ships on trade protection now. Convoy defense. All right, all right. The convoy defense missions can uh, get a little thick. Uh, no. It's this one. Okay, no. So that's the only air base I have to worry about. You put uh, air bases on all your possessions, fill them with planes, and be paying like twenty thousand. Yep. Yep. Very much so. It's it's very very expensive. Oh, I don't have battleships. I only have cruisers. Uh, I don't think I can put bombs on my fighters. How do... Okay, um... Do these guys carry... No, they don't. They can't even carry bombs, so... Oh, I can't set them to none? So they can't even carry bombs. They can't do anything. We got some cruisers, probably battle cruisers. I'm about to say, they got battle. If I've got cruisers, they probably got battle cruisers, which means I am entirely outgunned here because I do not have any battle cruisers. So I just have to run. Unfortunately. I am completely outgunned. Uh, what are you doing? Fuck, are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. I think that's a bug, honestly. Uh, something I've noticed uh, recently is an obscene number of rudder hits. Noticed that happening a lot. So I've got to launch some torpedo strikes and hope that that'll keep them at bay. Until she can get fixed up. Queen Mary, I haven't seen that one yet. Same as the rest. Alright, 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 that fixed pretty quickly. 28 knots, get the fuck out of there. Immediately took a hit. Thank God I have good torpedoes. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, friendly ship in line of fire, out of arc, okay. Pivot. Try to try to keep them at bay. Uh, the ones in the back look like they're going in a straight line. Let's uh, give it another minute, maybe. Uh, they've turned. They've turned again. Fuck you guys. 
Fuck, fuck your battle cruisers. Keep it up at bay with two destroyers. Just lost half my battle line spawning a, a map on, on top of an enemy minefield. Yep, sometimes you just get that lucky. Okay, uh, well, it looks like they're turning around. <laughs> they're definitely making straight for the convoy. It's funny, they are clearly making straight for the convoy, but are not within sighting range of it. Fucking AI. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try a, I think this is a, a fairly decent attempt at a, a shot here, so launch some and pivot away. Oh! No, they immediately turned. At least the rest of the fleet's getting away easily. Uh, and the sun will be down relatively soon. Oh, fuck you! Okay, it's raining now. Sighting's even worse. No, no, no! Oh, they launched their... Oh, fuck, they launched some of their the torpedoes at a destroyer. All right, well... Oh, God, didn't I tell you not to do that? I hold fire with missiles, motherfucker. God damn it. We got five torpedoes left now. Trying to lure the destroyers away. Wait for the sun to go down. Flee, transports, flee! No, we don't know what missiles are. They don't exist. There's the sun. I can see it coming. I mean, honestly, these destroyers are, uh, ah, I'm gonna say they're doing a, a damn fine job, but they just keep, they know exactly where the convoy is. The sun's still up, the, the we love sighting's you. not that Shut bad. Up, baby, I know it. So, they're, they're having their way with them. Merchant hit by a torpedo. Get away from that cruiser there. <gasps> Ah, well. Well. Given the fact that I was completely outgunned here. Uh, no. Uh, I'm just going to say, fuck it. And you're on your own. Sorry, but they spawned with, like, ten times more firepower than I did. Uh, it is 1926 in the game. Have all these guys head up north now towards the port. I don't know how many transports they sunk, but it seems like the rest may have gotten away. See no further combat. So they sank less than half. I mean, they, they did what they needed to do. They sank six, but ten got away. I didn't lose anybody, thankfully. So it wasn't that big of a of a battle, really. Just a few hundred points difference. I'm still up by a lot. Uh, enemy set out feelers through neutral nations about negotiate peace without border. No, 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 no. We want to keep fighting. Oh, I, ha I have something for this. No! Hey, look, he's on my shit list now. Fuck. Yeah. And there's secondary directors for batteries and um, cruisers. 
for uh, se uh, uh, secondary directors for batteries for secondary directors and for light cruisers. Fuck. Ah, uh, fuck me. Back to Northeast Asia. Well, I guess we just grab everybody that's not Northeast Asia and say go to Northeast Asia. Reserve the fleet. Oh no! A communist coup has taken place in Russia in the 20s. Okay, so we've got we've got the Soviet Union now. Alright, reserve everybody. <sighs> Fucking A. Didn't even get to take Hong Kong. We got the invasion of France and Russia have renewed their security agreement. Uprising in China. Oh yeah, we need to get the tension back up. Preferably with Italy, those fucks. Alright, so hang on. Let's um let's do this. Spy on them a little. New float plane, it's the B model, higher range, and it greatly increased bomb, well, mildly increased bomb load. And Tan Dag, Tan Dag, uh, welcome. <laughs> Having trouble with that one. Fucking balls. That sucked ass. Alright, make sure everybody's reserved. Okay, that really did a number on my budget, too. Not as bad as it, it, it could have been, but... Fuck, fucking balls. Alright, when's the next ship come off the thingies? Okay, okay, this month all the raiders are due. And in less than a year, three battleships will be done. Sorry, crack on my back. On the ship is... Oh, wow! Oh, that's great. The ships are uh, surpassing their design speed. That means some of these will get up to 30 knots. And now we have triple bottoms. Everybody likes a nice, thick triple bottom. All right. Uh, Naval Patrol aircraft, faster, uh, longer range. Do it. The tension's so low. All right, so there's the new cruisers. They're all on reserve. All right, so that was here. This is all out of auto whack now. Class and type. Uh, yeah, these all came in at thirty knots instead of twenty, which means they're even better. Increase on plane maintenance, reduce the naval aircraft cost for. Uh, it is just me, or, or the increase on plane maintenance reduce the naval aircraft cost for around a dozen? I I, I can't suss out what that sentence means. Could you try that again? I'm not. I'm not sure what you're getting at there. Improved depth charges. All right. Oh my god, my fleet is getting fairly large. Reserve. Make sure everybody's on reserve. I'm only making 2,800 right now. Oh, you know what I could do as well, is I could take off the doc the the, the doctrine. Um, and does that immediately? Do I immediately get that back like next turn? Cause that's a 1200 ducats now uh one of our captains has been arrested as a spy for great britain oh oh he's a blot on our honor yes uh do i have to hit apply well okay okay oh stop training there we go There we go. Okay. All right, the ridiculous cat mandos is almost done. I'm gonna save up a little money, so I'm not gonna build anything for a few months. There's cat mandos. Uh, if we send our oldest ships, we get budget. Yeah, I will trade uh, uh, prestige for budget. That's fine. Well, we can build ten thousand ton crew. Oh yeah. There we go. Not running the academy as chief. Well, yeah, but it just like does some stuff for the officers, and that I don't really care about that, honestly. 
Increase the number and quality of officers at a slight cost. Like, I don't need more. I guess maybe the quality? Maybe that's worth it? Is that immediately going to go into extra training next month? Russian battle cruiser. It's 12 inch, again, just 12 inch guns. It's a nice ship though. Reduce dud rate. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, yeah, we could run that. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, uh, that was, uh, that allowed, I'm thinking about rebuilding some of these into carriers now, by the way. But we can put directors on the secondary guns now. The ships have a fair bit of weight remaining, honestly. Uh, oh, and these don't have improved directors yet, so we can do that while we're at it. We'll save that. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking the new craze. We will uh, start rebuilding into carriers. So... Auto conversion to carrier. Oh shit! We even get the we get the Japanese rising sun on the deck. That's actually, hey, that that this is actually like a fairly decent representation of Japanese carriers. They even had this little thing. It was to, oh, I don't remember what this this. It was a graphic at the end of the ship that was something to help with landing. I don't remember exactly what it was. Do it. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Carrier with a speed below 24 knots with no catapults will have a reduced spot value. So, they can only go 20. Oh, can these only go? I don't think these can go 24. No, whole form doesn't allow that. So, oh, and you can't unreplace machinery either. So, I'm going to have to do this again. Ship is slightly overweight. Fire control. Okay. So, group directors. Um, if I remember correctly, it forces you to have eight inch guns, like eight, eight inch guns or something. Like, what, if I clear these off, yes, eight, six, uh, at least eight, six inch guns. So I can put a bunch of six inch guns on here because they decide I have to. How does it gain weight from losing its guns? I mean, I, I I put on a whole flight deck and a buttload of planes, too. Uh, so we need six-inch guns in... Did it have... Is that where... It, okay, no, it did not have that before. Clear those off. Uh, it must have been, like, these ones. Yes, okay, so that's legal. So we just need to put on a bunch of six inch guns. Well, it said it needed eight, so two, four, six, eight. I don't need that many. So we'll get rid of the midship ones. And then that should be legal. Uh, is new turret, new six inch guns must be in shielded mounts with uh, less than or equals to two inches. Of, like, that's what it has. Oh, single mounds. <sighs> okay. Single six inch guns. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. There we go. All right, it works. All right, we're going to take off one of those directors. We'll load her the fuck up with these, because that's what she really needs, is um, uh, AA guns. Okay. Too many. Well, fuck you. Uh, it's fine. Uh, maybe, maybe 20? Still too many? 18? Still too many. 
16. Okay, 60. Fuck you. All right, light anti-aircraft guns on there. Uh, and actually, that's a fair bit more planes than I expected to be on this ship. Get 47 planes on there. 48 if we stretch it a little. That's really way better than I expected. So the main gun allowance I don't care about because they're not going to be using these pretty much ever. These ones I care more about. Okay. That's actually not even that expensive. One year for almost 1,200? Current range may still be a problem. Well, I can't change that. Okay. Save. Do it. Scandal involving important dictators from Russia. Well, fuck them. Embarrass the Russians. New fighter available from Kawanishi. Higher speed and higher range. Less maneuverability, but same amount of toughness. So I will take that. Uh, that suggests you need at least 11 more destroyers. I can build more destroyers. Oh, and my big battleships. And we're going to have even bigger Blimpy Boys now with Parasite uh, Blimpy Fighters. Okay. Um, so these are the newest ones. Do I need to... Do I want to change anything on these? But, oh, yeah. There are some things we could change. I don't think I'm allowed to do this yet, right? No, I cannot have dual purpose main guns yet. So that's not legal. But what I can do is put on some some secondaries if I wanted to. Hey, Unsung, how you doing? Wow, you'd really jump up on uh, destroyers, can't you? From local fire only to directors. How you doing, buddy? Haven't seen you in a bit. How's life? Really been great to catch one of the streams after ages. Well, Nico, it's good to see you again. I shall always remember you as as the murderer of many uh, for my ultimate general streams. But have a good night. Good to see you again. Uh, we just need to save a little weight. Maybe knock off like a knot, and then auto place and take off a couple of these. Uh, director for secondary guns not developed for ships smaller than. Wait. This it fucking was. Oh, it was for light cruisers. Well, wait, no. Secondary battery. Oh, secondary batters and then m m main batteries for cruisers. Okay. No, that's right. All right. Okay, okay. Fine. My top side load is... I got one light anti-aircraft gun on here. I'm going to get that knot back. Or, yeah, yeah, I can probably get that knot back. And then take that down a few... And that's a new ship. Yeah, there we go. I can't do I can't dual purpose the main mounts. I don't it's a it's a separate tech. But my destroyers are looking beefy. Dark Raven. Save that. Save that. It'll only take a month to design that ship. And then I'll put down a dozen. And my big boy battleships are out now, too. All right, uh, go to the build screen, and now I have money to spend. So we'll put down a dozen of these. They wanted 11. Uh, reserve all the ships. So I got one buzzard left to, that's rebuilding. The new craze got nine months, and then those guys are coming. Uh... What was it? I, I grabbed... I got. It was Directors. That's what it was. It was Director for the Secondary Guns. Yes, yes, yes. So go ahead and just start putting those on everybody because those make them way more effective. 
The battleships have been going in for rebuild like every two years because the tech has been firing so quickly. But honestly, it's been like a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Not much, really. We've got our single disgusting Katmandos. <laughs> the ugliest ship. Uh, these are the brand new ones, but give me a sec, guys. Uh, it's rather warm in here, so I went through my water. So I'm gonna go get some more um, liquid. I'll be right back. How would this game be to learn if you started with basically no naval knowledge? Uh, pretty. I think it would be fairly difficult, honestly. There's a lot of um, like uh, preconceived notions of what what things are and how they work in this game. Uh, so I think what we should do is go down to these guys. What was his name? I could have sworn, no, I did not, I, I was gonna say, I could have sworn I replaced their engines, I did not. EA, I got ship. Dot, it's been so long. Yep, you got a whole class of destroyers. Big, thick ones, too. Uh, director firing on these now. Or, uh, yeah, I can do this, is what it is. I don't know if I want to bother replacing these guys' engines at this point. I think we just continue on with what they got. Because they're so old that they're pretty much at the end of their lifetime. They've been relegated to secondary uh, positions as it is. So open for rebuild. Uh, central firing to improve directors. Oh my god, it's going to make these things vicious. Right, save. These are all like three month rebuilds. The Zets might need a full rebuild. They're getting a little long in the tooth. So why don't we uh, replace their engines? Can I get them up to, can almost get them up to 28. Do you uh, rebuild engines only once they become obsolete or not bother with some? It, it, it really is situational. Um, Especially with, uh, uh, like, the availability of oil and things like that. I, uh, honestly, I rebuild ships a lot. A lot of people don't bother rebuilding ships at all. They think it's it's not worth it, and you should always just be scrapping and building new ones. I disagree, and I think it's way more effective to keep ships in service as long as possible. Maybe not in frontline duty, but doing other things as well. Isn't this the time to have some BCs just so you, uh, <laughs> you have some... Chat does love battle cruisers. You're not wrong. Okay. Let, let's let, let's do this and then we'll talk about it. So we'll go to improved directors. Um, we'll leave them at 27 knots so I have some room to work for now. Uh, I do have four inch guns on here that can be dual purpose guns. I'd have to... Here, let's increase the turrets to... Do, well, well, we'll not do late dreadnoughts yet. They have dreadnought turrets. Uh, we can just reduce this by a hair. And they're going to keep those underwater tubes. So I can't even fire at that speed. Oh, that's another downside to underwater tubes. You can't fire them. Going more than, I think, 24 or 25 knots. Topside load capacity, once you get to this game, this point in the game, really makes a big difference. Because before, what I would do, because that didn't exist. Before, I would have... My, like my my mid my, my kind of like mid game light cruisers they would have above water torpedo tubes uh tons of anti aircraft guns uh heavy aa medium aa light aa they would have uh three fire controlled positions lots of main guns secondary guns tertiary they have everything on the deck mine rails <laughs> they have everything on there but now you got to worry about topside load Okay, that's fine as is right now. There's only two of these, so it's not like it's that uh, pressing to get the, to, to to worry about the price of them because there's just not that many. Um, so dual purpose, increased elevation, increase the directors. I could get for more ammo. Chat, chat, you guys love fucking battle cruisers. Chats always love battle cruisers. I think we would just give them. See, max out the four inch guns here. Just give them more ammo. Mines. See, that's what I was just talking about. The mines take up uh, dockside, um, uh, topside space. If I put on mines, I got to take off anti-aircraft guns. 
All right, all right. So we got a bunch of ships rebuilding right now. And chat wants a battle cruiser. Is that even legal? Why? Okay, so... All right, whatever. Here, clear... Here, auto... Just do, do something less silly. Okay, thank you, game. Thank you. There we go. Scorch, welcome. Okay, so there's a perfectly normal configuration of guns. Unit machinery, uh, magazine box protection, incline belt. Who needs protection when it's a battle cruiser? Am I right? Uh, probably not going to let it be this big. <laughs> Let, let's bring it down to like 32.5 and then see what we could work with. Uh, okay, so let's bring this down. Deck extended. I'll put up to two so it's splinter proof. Uh, what I could do is all or nothing as well. And then I just take that off. Right? I'm not allowed to do belt extended, right? Oh, I can still do belt extended. I can't do upper belt though, right? Cannot have armor screen upper belt. Yeah, I can take that off. And can I have the extended deck? Yeah, I can. Okay, I can have that. It's not that heavy. Okay, so what we do is we go down to the four inch guns, we load her up, direct, uh, direct her firing, single turrets, so that she get out of all that uh, sexy anti aircraft space. And then we need to uh, reduce this by a bit. Oh yeah, we don't we don't need speed priority there. I actually put her on reliability. Well, put her on normal. Uh, okay, don't hit that button. Uh, let's auto place those guns. All right. So now we um now we talk about so so at at my designated size, there's still four thousand tons available. So we decide what we want here. Oh yeah, we actually have to make those dual purpose guns too. Man, it, once I get a, 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 a double mounts for the dual purpose guns, that's going to change a lot of... That's going to make free up a lot of topside space. Okay, okay, okay. More speed. I just reduced the speed. Uh, I, I would say first thing we do is increase to triple turrets and see where we are. We still got 2,000 tons. Increase to quad turrets. And we basically fill out the space. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll take the superimposed and we'll go down to triples. That way we can have space for things like more ammo because I had been running out of ammo. We gotta we gotta consider consider ammo because there's not a lot of big guns in the game, but there is a lot of uh, big armor. It means more shells to take down a um, a, a enemy, which means we need more ammo. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. Tertiary guns not super useful. Yeah, we take those off. We don't need those. We replace that with this. Quintuple turrets. I wish. I wish we could have more than quads. That would be amazing. Uh, I think we're pretty good. Okay, okay, okay. Hear me out. Rotary Gatling 12 inch turret. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> All right, I think that's pretty good, honestly. So let's um, pick a name. King of Rome has a whole class of cruisers. Must already be a logistical nightmare to try reloading a quad turret. Yup. Uh, sedentary gravy. All right, gravy. There we go. Gravy. Excellent. You had our curiosity. Now you have our attention. <laughs> hey, Stubbs, how you doing? 19 AA. I don't, I don't have AA directors yet. I would put them on if I had them. Uh, new naval secretary believes submarines wants 20 new subs. 
I can do subs. That's fine. All right, we have a new Shinden. What, what do they change? Nothing. Does it, did anything change? Oh, they put on like a bigger machine gun. Sure, why not? There we go. Okay, they want subs. Builds. I don't usually do lots of subs, so uh, we'll do a dozen of these. And why don't we do some mine laying subs too? Why not? Let's do some mine laying subs. Uh, was that enough? I need 20. How many did I build? Eighteen. Um, and a couple long range ones. There we go. Twenty. No, you can't do design your own subs. Sadly. Uh, ooh, a collusion from one of our ships and one from Italy. Fuck the Italians for bringing that war to an end. So it was obviously their fault. Ooh. Enhanced warhead explosives. Torpedoes do more damage. I don't believe I have oxygen fueled torpedoes yet, right? Uh, full plane helicopter search priority, yes, but no, I do not have uh, oxygen fueled torpedoes yet. Shame. Oh, um, I should start telling my capital ships to carry some semi armor piercing rounds, though. So, like, let's knock off, um, 15%. Carry, fi here, let's do this. Yeah, I think that's fair. So the tw we're basically only talking about 12-inch guns here. So if the if you're firing a 12-inch gun at short range, target is capital ship. Tar target is light cruiser. Long range, medium range, short range. There we go. Uh, if your target is a is a yes. If your target is a regular cruiser. I'm going to say, unless, yeah, just semi-armor piercing all the way. Unless it's short range, then switch to HE. And if you're targeting a battle doopy, uh, do sh if it's you're at short range, do sap. There we go. Semi, uh, why semi-pierce when fully, uh, pierce, pierce fully? Well, sometimes you pierce too fully. You pierce too wellily. And, um, that, that is... Discard un wait, no. Save. Save. Okay, close. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so the reconstructions are popping off. Prime Minister wants to hold an international naval gathering in Sailing Regatta. Uh well I want I don't want tensions down, so no. All money for warships. Oof. Nice to be in the positive again. All reserve make sure everybody's on reserve. Semi armor piercing is an odd name. I don't think it's an odd name at all. I, th I think it is absolutely per perfectly descriptive for what it is. I think I think it I think it's a delightful name. Uh God, everybody's been rebuilt so recently. I mean, what we could do is start going to the older destroyers and see if we can't fix those up. That's not. Even, I don't even think it's worth it at this point. So you need more sap shells then? No, I, I would say fifteen percent is about right. Most of the time, you want you're only going to be using those occasionally. Newest cruisers don't have fire control updates. Uh, that would have been these ones. Here, let's take a look. Open design. Um, no, they don't. So improve directors. Oh god, I can't even see what that's so small. Okay, somebody did a Patreon thing. Thank you. Should probably make that more legible. Oh yeah, these are the ones with um those are the raiders. They have the the float planes. Okay, so rebuild those. Uh the Lady Magnuses. Open those. Yep, those need that too. So they get they get the new doodlies. New fire control on those. Yes, that was very teeny. All right, and then the battle cruisers. 
Rebellion broke out in the Baltic states. Oh my. All right, so we will build two gravies. Okay, we will rename gravy number two. The Menace. Love it. Okay, the music is still going. I was like, is it start off? It's still going. Do -do, do -do. Oh, we're no longer allies with Austrians. Boom times! Railroads, please. Alright, new fighter. Slower. Your mother so this is the new one we're using right now. With a short... Uh, no, we're not using that one. It's worse than the ones we already have. Overlord Mike! How are going? Again. Thanks for the doodly dongly. Uh, nothing to worry about with my submarine program either. Delightful. Thanks, man, for the guy who joined you in this car. Very welcome, colonists. Uh, improved double gun mounts. And they oh, good. Okay, uh, enables double gun mounts on cruisers and tertiary guns and double mounts. Tertiary guns and double mounts, but not secondaries. But still good for the cruisers. Am I using any of these anymore? I don't think I am, honestly. I don't know if I have any of those 10-inch uh, guns left in the fleet. The last ones were on uh, this ship. This is the last ship armed with 10-inch guns. Tertiary. I know tertiary is on all ships. I'm interested in secondaries. I don't use tertiaries that often. It's the only ship with 10-inch guns left. Everybody else has had them removed or been um, retired. Should keep those docks going, too. Oh, uh, my new carriers will be done soon as well. Well, my new carrier conversions. Reduced engine HP requirements. What, was that two months after laying down some battle cruisers? German government is... I don't, I'm not selling anything to anybody. Effective signet. Better pre-battle enemy strength is set to it. Penny, do you want to go see mom? Is that why you're whining? Okay. 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 Game support the inclusion of rams. You can ram enemies, but you don't can't build ships with purpose-built rams. Most modern torpedo bombers are out of date. All right, we'll do some new ones for range and toughness. All right, so there's the reconstruction of my carriers. Rebellion continues. So what we need to do is assign actual air groups to these carriers now. So let's uh, add air unit. We'll start with a huge wing of fighters. And then we'll do like a big wing of torpedo bombers. We don't know what dive bombers are yet, interestingly enough. Honestly, I'm more interested in sh these ships as uh, protection than in strike uh, capabilities. So I'm going to do two big wings of fighters and one wing of torpedo bombers. And then what we'll do is we'll just copy this and paste it here. Yes. And I'm thinking maybe uh, we'll go... I'm going to go ahead and add um, patrol aircraft. A very small wing of patrol aircraft, like four, to all of my active bases, just so there's a very small amount on there at all times, trained up and ready to go. Oh, Russia crushed the Baltic rebels. Shame. I should start, man, tensions are low as fuck. New Italian battle cruiser only armed with nine inch guns. Nine inch guns, 12 inch guns. I don't know where I got that from. There's the Zet popping off. And her sister ship, the Chitose, which she's seen a lot of combat. 
Uprising in China makes it necessary to send a force. To send a strong force to safeguard our interests, get those tensions up. We can build even thicker destroyers. We love a good thick destroyer, but we got 1,500 ton destroyers popping off right now. Uh, open, we've opened fire on a fishing boat from Great Britain. Well, it was their fault. We now put depth charge throwers on as well, and there's no torpedo bombers available. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, we, we sponsored this, so this one has the highest speed and the highest range, so yes, that's the one we want. Okay, we can do medium AA weapons now, but still, heavy AA is taking up all of our top side space. Would a thick DD be a triple, a triple D? Yes, it would be. Yes, it indeed would be. Um, I think, so what we could do now is we could design um, bigger light cruisers because we could do double mounts on them now. So we could get more guns on a smaller hull. And I think we would go with five inch guns on my cruisers. So that's, that's eight five inch guns along the center line. That's good. Good. What is that? That's at 8,000 tons, too. My God, they're getting big. The secondary guns in uh, turrets. I think what we would want to do is something like this. A little bit of torpedoes on there. <laughs> it looks normal. I know, exactly. It's weird. Um, just nor I, I think ideally what we need is just kind of like normal fleet support cruisers. Like nothing peculiar. So she's got eight five-inch guns along the center line. Uh, can I get 12... 12 for it, maybe 10. 10 four inch guns. Let's take the sponsons off at this point. Uh, I don't think I'm allowed to put, I think I can put these in doubles, but I wouldn't be able to dual. Yeah, they wouldn't be able to dual be dual purpose. So those have to be singles still. Uh, yeah, take the mines off. I'll place those guns. Let's move these uh, down to like the ass end because I kind of like them. Kind of like them down there. Cool, tight, 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 tight. Uh, okay, okay. We got a, we got a little bit of medium AA on there this time, and I think we absolutely load her up with ammo. Depth charge throwers. Uh, I don't think I can put those on here now. Those are those are for destroyers. Or Corvettes, I think, can get them too. Mm. Torpedo defense one at the very least. I could put I could get torpedo defense two on there. Yeah, put that on. It's illegal. Oh, I don't have directors available. Take that off. Load her up with ammo. And I guess maybe just take off a couple hundred tons. If we do 7,800 tons, we can do 7,800 tons. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good one. That's a good, perfectly normal-looking fleet support cruiser. Actually, unit machinery might be good. Put that on there. The Morrison class. What? Tight, tight. And there's 20 new subs. That'll free up some money. More British-related scandals embarrass their asses. 1% uh, weight saving on machinery again. A new medium bomber is available. Higher speed and higher lower range. I think we're just going to say nope. And I'm going to see. I'd love to get six of these built. 
Cool. Cool. Oh, and some of these are on active fleet now. Hang on. Reserve everybody. There we go. Naval aircraft is up to 1400 a month now for two light carriers, four ca and four uh, two light carriers and two regular carriers, both were co converts. Uh, I think it is time to maybe retire the rum line. It was built in 1904, so it's 25 years old at this point. It's armed with only two 10-inch guns. But she's got a lot of anti-aircraft guns on there. Fuck it. Give her oil turbines. Let's get her up to speed. Replace her, <laughs> replace her guns. Uh, fuck it, she's staying in service. Uh, we can put directors on those now, right? Uh, oh, I can't go faster than 25 knots with it. Um, well, in that case, there's a lot of room for something. The deck, it's too, too, not enough for deck armor. I can theoretically bulge her and then get her to... Oh, yeah. See, that's an issue with bulging, too. Is it doesn't it doesn't take into account the speed after the reduction. So on ships at about, you know, right around their max limit, it causes an issue. Because it, like, like, theoretically, yes, I could do this and she would still be 25 knots, but the game doesn't see it as 25 knots because that minus three is after this is taken into account. So can't, that's not gonna be viable. Um. There's not much I can do with her, really. Just keep her as an anti-aircraft ship, I guess. Or I could make a, I, I could turn her into another light uh, carrier. But those are not very effective. They only got 16 planes on them. I kind of like keeping her in service, honestly. So we'll just replace her, rebarrel her guns. Is Sea Wiz a thing? Uh, I think late game it is. Okay, can I... Because yeah, the problem with this is that you lose AA effectiveness when you're putting in multiple calibers. So we'll just give her lots of ammo. I can put a lot of ammo in there. Yeah, exactly. It's a sentimental ship at this point. There we go. She's getting her rebuild. So many ships have been rebuilt over and over and over again. Uh, yeah, good! Uh, make him a hero! Fuck the Italians. Pressure for nationalist politicians and government allocating more funding to the Navy. Don't mind if I do. Alliance, uh, the alliance between France and Russia has expired. We have improved wet heater engines for, again, better tor uh, br torpedoes. No, the medium bombers are fine. So I got money to spend still. I don't care about... Uh, avian pundits are ecstatic about the capabilities of modern medium bombers. Oh, we can do all forward main armament uh, battleships now, which means I should really do that, shouldn't I? So, yeah, there we go. Okay, okay, all right. Read, 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 read. Because why not? I, I, I do like all forward gun battleships. All right, all right, all right. So the other battleships are 26 knots. So I'll make this one 26 knots. Six and a half inches on the deck. Fuck that. My god. 
at least uh, splinter proof there. Uh, incline the belt, unit machinery. Two and a half on the secondaries. Uh, knock those down to... Okay, I think what we'll do for now is I'm going to leave on doubles. And then, then we'll do this for their heavy AA. will be a bunch of uh, some, some threes. And then we'll work uh, additional armament. No, okay, to clear those out. Let's... They're a little heavy here, so let's knock this down. Knock that up. There we go. Uh, all right, so at 40,000 tons, there's still 4,000 tons available, so we could definitely make this smaller. What's our, what, what's the... It's... Because there's no big guns, it's really easy to get, like, a, a really thick, like, impervious range on these ships. They are 15-inch belts. Okay. Uh, we lost the topside load when I made her 8,000 tons lighter. Let's give um, 125 rounds per gun. Max these out. Definitely need that ammo, and then we'll make her bigger again. Yeah, 35,000 tons. Um... So now we just need to reduce this by a bit. There we go. We'll shoot up as soon as you get uh, heavy AA directors and dual purpose. Yeah, if I get dual dual purpose guns, that's going to help out a fuck ton. 1930, the biggest gun you've seen is 12 inches. Yep, it's a bug with the game right now. There's um, a huge amount of people reporting the same issue of basically gun technology never progressing. And that's actually what's it's happened in every single one of my games so far, is I never get past 12-inch guns. 35,000. She's she, she a little thick. Staris, welcome. Save that. That's a sexy ship. It's a ship with some ass. New cruiser from Italy has arrived. Oh, fuck them. Uh, if they, the best that we can, they could do, we have nothing to fear from the Italians. Yeah. A people in Samoa. Well, let's tell them, issue an ultimatum, demanding they back down. They're unimpressed in Occupy Samoa. Fuck the British. Oh, uh, should we, nah, I was gonna say, should we increase the base capacity in Formosa? We probably should. Let's go ahead and do that. Nice design, but I thought you didn't uh, like the meta designs. Uh, I, I don't like the meta designs, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to use an all-forward uh, arm and ship when I have it available. There was nothing terribly meta about that design. Uh, during a coronation review, the meta is like use all-forward arm quad turrets, uh, exactly 14 or 15 or 16 inch guns. I can't remember which one was the meta. Like, the exact, the exact right speed, the exact right armor. Just because that one factor is the meta doesn't mean I'm never going to use it. It means I'm never going to completely focus on it. Uh, during a coronation review, there will be a there's been a collision between one of our ships and the British are fucking around. Another reduced engine HP requirements. Okay, we got a little bit of uh, tension brewing. Reduce financing to the Navy. No. No, no, no. Let's get those tensions up. We want war. And I can only really afford to do two of these right now. So, uh, rename the second one. Kuthalin. Kuthalin. There we go. And, okay. Five months on this bad boy. And that'll knock off. Oh, that's not very expensive. <laughs> Alright, I gotta I got make it a year. Got about that long. 
Captain Konishi is in charge of preparations for the annual Army-Navy football game. Yeah, let's get that prestige up. Navy team narrowly wins uh, an even but unspectacular game. All right. Current U.S. game has 82,000-ton battlecruisers because late-game U.S. budget requires stupid and practical bullshit just to spend it all. I love it. I love it. Spy, maximum publicity. They're not my ally anymore, so fuck them. Oh, shell dies, nice. Reduces the penalty for more than one ship firing at a target. It's not a doctor or anything, it just happens. Telling government, no, nope, I'm not selling them anything. I'm not selling them shit. Pressure from nationalist politicians. The government allocates more funding to the Navy. Awesome. Uh, the French can suck a bag of baguettes. <laughs> so I got all excited because that's the image for gun tech. Two inch guns researched. Oh, I never, never use those. Uh, they want to reduce tension. No. No, never trust the British. Ooh, uh, you know what I just realized we can possibly do now, though? Is we could probably take our old destroyers. And we can do depth charge throwers. And increase, increased depth charge storage now as well. Uh, it might not, it might not fly on the destroyers, though. I don't think there's enough space to make that work now. Uh, what if we went down to the Corvettes? I think, and hey, we still got a Corvette in service from 1899. 21 knots, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's give her depth charge throwers and increased depth charge store, uh, uh, storage. There we go, very nice. Uh, should be legal. You can have uh, new fire control directors installed. The, sh the ship has been unchanged since 1899. Yeah, no, no, she don't get to retire. Can I put doubles on these? Is that legal? I don't think it is. No. Oh. Decrease. Uh, I can't put dual purpose. Can make those dual purpose guns. Right. Ship has no fire control position. Okay, we'll give her one. Alrighty, there we go. <laughs> this is a single ship, by the way. So let's give her uh, some anti-aircraft guns. Save that. There we go. Uh, let's go to the other Corvettes, too, because honestly, there is a lot we could do with these. We'll be designed for rebuild. Uh, and these have, these are minesweepers. Give them oil turbines. Can they go faster? They can go faster. They can have director firing. We can have dual purpose anti-aircraft guns. Uh, we can even, uh, we could, we could make them good at everything. For a very low price, honestly. I don't think I'm allowed to do director firing on those. Nope, not yet. And then some of these. There we go. Some anti-aircraft guns on there. Save that. Rebuild all my Corvettes. Cool. And yeah, sh ships don't earn retirement with me. They get run into the ground until eventually they're sunk because I use them in stupid ways. Uprising in China. Blow it up. Dual purpose guns as main armaments for destroyers. Okay, that's a big one. If I could ever get those five inch... Oh man, that really pissed off the British. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, I'm in danger. I don't want to activate the fleet right now because I'm spending all of my money. Back our ally unconditionally. 
And now we'll take a new medium bomber. Actually, cancel that. Uh, no, not for some years. Woo-hoo-hoo! Woo-hoo-hoo! Oh, it's getting spicy! Okay, it's getting spicy again. Yes, Stars, you got a battleship. Here she, here she blows. My new fast battleship. Behold her glory. It's actually pretty good. She's got a lot of interesting characteristics. Huge tracts of land. I want to, I want to activate the fleet, but I also don't have any money. All right, so what I'm gonna do? Do the British have the British don't have anybody even stationed over here, so it's really not that big of a deal. Prime Minister suggests that the captain of one of my light carriers, who's incompetent, would be an excellent choice to command a new battle cruiser. No. Ooh, improved heavy AA effectiveness. Good. All right, the British activated their fleet. <laughs> and aircraft bases. I I don't have enough money <laughs> to do much right now. It's if I can if I can go three more months, we're in the clear. Uh, but you're not wrong about may, maybe we do just some at air unit. Um, some fighters like uh just just some just some four fighters wait didn't i add air unit oh i didn't i didn't put fighter maybe six six fighters now i don't think i theoretically can copy and paste can i Oh, I can. Good. Okay, can I do it on all of them? Good. Okay, I get some fighters out there. Put some put start 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 getting some of them out. French light carrier, fourteen thousand tons, thirty knots, thirty-two aircraft carry. This must be purpose built. Could be a light carrier of fourteen thousand tons and carry thirty-two aircraft. Oh, Russia! Okay, mobilize the fleet. Okay, I didn't see that coming. Um, all right. Uh, trade protection. Uh, okay, okay. So for now, these guys got to go on trade protection. And, he, and we'll take a bunch of the eliminators and put them on trade protection too. Coastal bombardment. I was expecting the Brit. What the fuck? Okay. Oh my god. Oh, because she was recently rebuilt. She was one of the only ships activated. The Sebeline rides again with her new 10-inch guns. Uh, there's dive bombers available, but okay, they can't find me in the mist, is my theory. Wait, what is this? Coastal bombardment. Where's the fuck off target? I don't I don't have a target. How can I have a coastal bombardment with no target? Wait, 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 what wait, what what where? Where? It's the whole fuck. Oh, hey, it's Sergei's house. Let's go blow it up. Sorry, buddy. Oh, 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 I found a thing. Oh, it's an armed immersion cruiser. All right, well, it's super dead now. Oh, no, okay, now we have even less sight. What the fuck is this battle? There's no land target.
There's nothing to blow up. I got like one transport and that's it. I'm just floating along the coastline seeing if I can, oh wait, here's something. All right, it shot back at me. Okay, it's got a, it's a six inch gun battery and it hit me. Stoker's exhaust, I, I forgot there's coal in this ship. I think we, I think we, we, we knocked out, okay, well, there's only one gunfire. How many hits did we take? It was a lot. 23. If you, if you, if you lose a gun duel to a coastal battery. Honestly, she's, it's heavily damaged on fire, but it's still hitting me. And we can only go nine knots now. Okay, flee! <laughs> flee for your life! All right, all right. Go, don't don't risk any extra flooding. Just go home. Oh, my spine! All right. Well, she was heavily damaged, but I took out two some things. I took two transports, and I damaged the land target. I don't know why that was. I, there was nothing. There was there was no land target to blow up. Internal belt for improved armor quality. Uh, lightweight fittings for hull weight. How they dominate? Russian destroyer sunk one of our submarines in Northeast Asia. Uh, twice. That's that's great. Oh, it's because my fleet wasn't entirely mobilized yet, so they're dominating until they're worked up. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, armed merchant cruisers uh, are gonna go to raider. Uh, and we're going to see if they can make it to Northern Europe. Uh, I've got one... Okay, I've got one month till I'm insolvent, but the, the battle cruisers will be done, so... <laughs> Colonel Jack, at least you're a slightly newer ship. So that's got uh, 10 8-inch guns and 22 5-inch guns. Those those feel like torpedoes in the water if I've ever felt them. Up! Oh! <laughs> ah, the first ship we shot exploded. I love it. What's the chance to hit right now? Only two percent, really. Uh, well, it is strong breeze and overcast, so. those guys a bunch yeah we don't have that much sighting range right now oh picking up survivors not on my watch murder 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 must have been fun for the guys who just got sunk twice murder 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 murder, 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 murder. All right, there we go. Well, I mean, again, shit weather, so sighting is a problem. Light rain and a strong breeze. Oh, eight inch shell on whatever that was. I doubt it was a cruiser, honestly. If anything, uh, it may have been a good idea to start putting semi-armor piercing on these guys, too. For, like, uh, seven, eight, nine-inch guns, ten-inch guns, maybe. Firing on cruisers at close range would be good to have. Good to have semi-armor piercing in there. Well, I mean, we got a couple destroyers sunk. Colonel Jack's doing a fine job. Cause I'm I'm pretty sure those eight inch shells are well they're most likely firing HE so they're probably not over penetrating they're probably just kerploding yeah 
fail. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, dead in the water. Is it making me a bad person that I, I'm really liking the strategy of you sink one ship and then you wait for... Who's this? It's a patrol boat. Oh, okay. Then you wait for um, somebody to go by and rescue the survivors. Then you sink the rescue ship. That may be a bad person. I feel like the answer might be yes. Oh, shit. Is that an actual cruiser? Oh, it's a light cruiser. Does that make me a... Uh... What, what, what is the term? War criminal? Somewhat questionable. Yeah, there you go. So we have hit the Norvik a couple times. Actually, I was just retiring to go home and I found the enemy ships here. Let's see, what's her rated speed? 30 knots, but we have hit her a couple times. Commander of Dubitious Morality. Yeah, there you go. I think we might be able to get this guy. I feel like we're, we're closing the... Ah, I just sped up. We were closing the distance. Uh, some more hits, though. Mostly the five-inch guns are doing the work. Five-inch guns are landing a lot. I have a lot of them on this ship. Uh, we've landed 20 hits with the bigger guns. This is a solid baby. If we can get some bigger hits in, that'd be great. But we've only got... This ship was built before I had super firing turrets. So when I'm on a chase here, only one gun's firing. Or one turret's firing, that is. Well, five. Honestly, the thing is taking a beat... There's an eight inch hit. The thing is taking an absolute beating and still go... Still, still moving. Medium damage, 20 knots. Knocked out her two four guns. Come on. Davy Jones. So yeah, the gods will know. I feel I feel like we may we may be able to catch her. It's a solid maybe. I guess it depends when oh we got lots of sun. Oh no, okay, we got her now. That last hit slowed her down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Couple eight inch hits. Dead in the water now. All right, we'll do one more pass and then head home. Well, it's a minor battle, but I'll take every victory. Hang on. Don't you try to rescue those survivors. Hey, 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 you go away. That's, that's shark bait. <laughs> Woo! Hit the rudder there. All right, she's dead in the water, so she's not getting home. Cool, all righty. Tech rate, I'm on 70%. I found 70% seems to work pretty well. All right, we'll let that be I feel like I'm pushing my luck. All right, four destroyers and the cruiser sunk for no damage. Thirteen hundred. Hey, there we go. 98 ships finished working up. All right, Russia, you've awoken the beastie. So that was that was the first gravy, which is my my thickly built battle cruiser. Uh, next month, uh, uh, the the budget will balance. Hopefully, we'll get more than one ship in now. Uh, suppress enemy ships in general. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Wait, these are the bigger ones, aren't they? 
Oh yeah! Look at those bad boys. They're nice little destroy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we got a seaplane tender. You guys go on AI control. Okay, it's uh, misty. Can I take? Can you take off in the mist? I don't know. All right, so what we're gonna do is AI control support for now. If memory serves, the way this works is if you set a carrier division to support somebody, they will send cap there. Uh, what I should also do is uh, load a strike, because I do have torpedo bombers on here. So I should take the torpedo bombers, uh, load out torpedo, cool, cool, cool. Uh, just grab these guys and ready strike. Whether it does not permit air launches, that's okay. I just want to have them ready. And they are within uh, uh, my 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 land base stuff too. So you're gonna support the carriers. I'm gonna ask the carriers to uh, request land base cap or extra cap. Oh fuck, that's close. Oh, it's not that bad. Okay, I thought that was way closer. Torpedo's already in the water. I appreciate the gumption. All right, which uh, which cruisers do I have here? So these are the older ones with the eight inch guns. Same ones, right? No, 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 these guys, no, 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 no that is the, uh, the older ones with the eights. It's all the older ones with the eights, okay. So it's a whole class together. I love that we're landing uh, hits with the secondaries reliably at a distance now. Thanks to those directors. This is one of the one of the few rare times where the enemy is like fully under the umbrella of my air cover and has no air support of them their own. But it's misty. Okay, that destroyer's gone now. I would have loved to launch an airstrike there. And no, you cannot conquer home regions, sadly. So I, ca I cannot take Eastern or Western Russia. Ooh, 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 we got something over here. All right, there are enemy... Okay, there's the enemy ships. So I'm going to order an airstrike at uh, these guys. They're not battleships, they're cruisers, so that's fine. Wait, wait, no, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Order a strike. Okay, so I'm going to go by location, just tell them to go up this way. It's only 35 miles. Target priority is the biggest ships you could find. And just go. That's going to be you and you on strike. No, don't coordinate them. Just, just launch them. And we'll see if our torpedo bombers can't uh, do some, uh, do some work. That could invade home regions, but you couldn't take them after the. I don't think you could even invade them. Although I've never, now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever tried invading a home region. So I, I, I guess, I guess we can test it out in a few minutes. I don't think you can do that, but I guess we'll try. Nice to see the cap uh, out already. Also nice to see one of those cruisers just getting blasted. Uh, Ari just got hit with a torpedo, though. So here, pull everybody out of uh, the line, because now I'm concerned about that. Send Ari home. We're right near our base, so not a big deal. Whatever you do, 
Don't torpedo the ship that's already dead. That's what I, those are my orders. There might not be anything left for them to, to, to torpedo though, honestly. There they are. I, there may not have actually been any heavy cruisers here. Yep, they're uh, they're making a run on that destroyer. Over and over and over again. I mean, no hits. That's that's fair because it's a destroyer. Here comes the second wave. Hey, there we go. We got a hit. These Russian cruisers can really really know how to take one on the chin. Alrighty, that's that that's a solid shellacking. Well, I will say, at least we got to use the carriers. I mean, they didn't do much, but it was fun to use them. So now let's turn everybody around and head home. I feel like the air stuff works a little better in Rule the Waves 3 than it did in Rule the Waves 2. Rule the Waves 2, it felt like there was always, like, a, a, a large amount of, of guesswork and... Uh, uh, and chuckle fuckery going on when I try to do air stuff. Like you would, you, you would ask Cap to show up and they would never show up. You would order strikes and then you would never see them on the map for various reasons. But I, I don't know, it feels like it's a little bit more, it's still wonky, like UI wise. It's still like a, a, a bunch of work to do the air stuff, but it feels like it's more responsive now, which is good. I don't know what this destroyer is doing other than dying. He's right under the, the, the guns of one of my batteries too. All right, he's dead. Everybody go home. Because we are in the clear. There's another destroyer out here. Well, that's my carriers. <laughs> Trying to land planes. Enemy aircraft approaching one of my destroy. Oh, right here! Um, did nothing come of that? All right. I guess nothing came of that. So I'm guessing they have a light carrier out there. They got a strike off. Yep. I, I've got a victory here, so I'm turning around. I'm just turning everybody around and heading home. And that guy did go dead in the water, so... So it looks like the combat air patrol keeps going for a while if they're out while the carrier docks. They just hang out forever. Uh. Uh. There we go. So I I have one uh, cruiser damage. They lost two. They did have a battle cruiser out there at some point, and they did have a light carrier too. Uh, where was it? Okay, so they they were separated and I wouldn't was not going to find them just futzing around probably uh any aircraft losses no none wow not even an accident Jesus Christ well I got some points I, I don't know Leah's screaming I don't want to die she's fine uh, the enemy has, uh, army wants more resources uh no these are my uh, true victory lies in the sea Super heavy shells. 
Uh, double gun mounts on destroyers now. Most modern fighters are two years old. That feels pretty modern still. So range, uh, speed and range is what I like on a fighter. Uh, one of our submarines torpedoed and damaged a Russian battleship. Our submarine sunk a Russian corvette in a gun duel. Russian destroyer sinks one of our subs. All right, my balance, my balance is budgeted. My budget is balanced. Oh my God, these ships are so expensive. But they're, they're big boys. A thousand ducats to keep them active. But we do have uh, the gravies working up now. That's cool. None of these three ships have seen action yet, by the way. How does the... Um... So these are these are rebuilds. I should build new destroyers. At least my... Yes, you can't... your ship is... Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at my... Look at how thick my line is. Jesus Christ. So... No, I cannot set the Russian uh, homelands as an invasion target. I can do some chocolate. Russia declines. All right, cruiser action. Battle cruiser action? No, my battle cruisers haven't worked up yet. Ah, oh, only three light cruisers. All right. Uh, high winds and low clouds. So again, shit weather. Svetlana's already taken hits. Who are these? Oh, these are the... Br oh, I forgot about these. Hey, Dinippy. Game's actually going fairly well. Th these are my raiders. I completely forgot I built them. They, sh they shouldn't be here at all. So we shouldn't risk these in combat right now. Because these are... These are raiding ships. So just squad max and let's get them the fuck out of here. Because I don't want to risk them in combat. They're not designed for open combat. Yeah, cru cruiser action. They play, they play it really fast and lose with cruiser action. It's kind of a catch-all term for whatever the fuck the game wants to throw at you. There's a couple hits. Force circulation for another uh, weight savings. Weight savings and turret fittings for another weight savings. Uh, triple turrets on cruisers. Oh my. Oh, wait, things are getting spicy. Our submarine torpedoed and damaged another Russian battleship. Enemy submarine torpedoed the garbage lighter number four. Oh, garbage lighter number four. You're my favorite garbage lighter. Okay, all of these should be set to Raider and sent to Europe. Uh, also, probably when all of these pop off, maybe we'll design a new um, destroyer or new cruiser. Russian ships intercepts our armed merchant cruiser in West Africa. Oh no, don't make me make a 40,000 ton armed merchant cruiser. I'll do it again. That's a whiff. What are you? Why are you turning away from me? Armed merchant cruiser, the Pripyat. Oh, an armed merchant cruiser fought. Is, is there were there was a battle in World War II? Was it World War II or World War One? I? I think it was World War II, um, where an armed merchant cruiser fought an armed merchant cruiser. And if I remember correctly, they killed each other. All right, she's slowed down by a lot. Oh yeah, there's some hits. We took a couple hits there too, though. Not much damage. There we go, she sank. Japanese victory. Gravy is finished working up. Uh, oh, I need, sh I need more forces in um, uh, the Northern Pacific. 
destroy your sunken enemy sub. So what I need to do is send, like, a small fleet to the Northern Pacific. So I'll take the Bree, the Buzzards, I mean. Uh, we'll send over two cruisers, uh, some light cruisers, and a smattering of destroyers. Move them to the Northern Pacific. Bombardment! Coastal Bombardment! At least I have a target this time. All right, wait, wait, wait. Ooh, 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 Gravy is here. Gravy has arrived. Okay, we've got a lot of ships here. Well, actually, it's not that many. It's mostly small ones. Uh, oh, we have another carrier right there. What the fuck? So... Oh, she's just like... Is she part of... Okay, okay, maybe... Uh, yeah, you be support for Diabetes. Gravy, you go max speed and, and go faster. Uh, put you on AI control. Um, and then what we should probably do is... Ask them to ready a strike of both torpedo uh, squadrons. So, ready that strike for a naval strike with torpedoes. Yes, yes. Why am I allowed to make 20,000? Hey, I've made 44,000 ton armed merchant cruisers before. The game lets you do some silly things, and I'll, I'm here for it. Was that one where the German ship was disguised as a ship that it found, and it was disguised as a neutral? Yes, I think that's what I was... Uh, that, that That's what I'm talking about. I do believe so. Okay, they're saying that they've spotted light, cr light carriers over this way. All right, the cap's out. Do we risk, um... Yamada Class AMC? Basically. I think, I think what we did was we just filled it with mines. So it was just like an uber miner. Do we, do we risk, um... Yeah, fuck it. Let's... Ask him to go after that, that sighting of carriers. And, uh, yes, this one, and this one, launch. Might as well, as soon as there's a sighting, let, let's try to, try to go after their carriers. Now, uh, Gravy doesn't have a cap. I think I remember, yeah, I, it was like two or four hundred, it was a lot of mines on there. One of the things that bugs me about the cap is the cap will only... Well, I, I'm not positive it works this way in Rule of Waves 3, but it did work this way in Rule of Waves 2. So I think it still works the same way. Is the cap would only protect the, the division that it was actually assigned to. So if you put your cap in the middle of a giant fleet, it would only protect, like, the four battleships they were assigned to and not any of the hundred ships around it. Which was a little nonsense, I thought. Uh, Cap just shot someone down. Shot down a scout. I think we're heading the right way. Alright, let's speed up. Gravy, how is your... Oh, there's the strike. Uh, crew quality is zero, so that's not half bad. I think we may have actually found a carrier. And it looks like... Uh, it's not a carrier. It's a, it, it's confirmed as a seaplane tender. There's a 26,000... 26,000 tons is still pretty big for a merchant cruiser. The thing I like about Ultimate Edward Dreadnought is the lack of aircraft. I it needs more development, but it's better now. I... I the, my issue my, my issue at the end of the day is that it's already had so much time to uh to, 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 to shake things out 
and and I just don't really like the way they've been they've been handling development. I just don't think they've been doing things um, in a uh, in a cohesive manner. Those strikes are out there. All right, the armed merchant or the armed merchant, the uh, seaplane tender took a twelve in shell. Okay, they bombed something over here. Cap just uh, shot down a, a couple a couple guys. Dive bombers coming in, but we do have cap. Oh, the cap just ran out of juice. Three enemy uh, dive bomber. Oh, they're way up here. Don't don't get torpedoed. Eight of my torpedo bombers are approaching enemy ships. Uh, five enemy caps intercepted them, and that was down over this way. It was down over this way. Okay, hang on, hang on. They might actually be going after something thicker. They say they found a carrier over here. Way down this way. They say they found a carrier way the fuck down here. Alright, and I don't know what this looks like. Eight 12 inch guns and nine and a half inches of belt armor. It's fine. Can they use missiles later on? I honestly don't know. Uh, Curdle Jack just knocked down, just damaged an aircraft. Cap just shot down a couple. Well, at least uh, intercepted them. Uh, my strike got intercepted. Three friendly. No, no, no. Uh, is they intercepted a strike. So the combat air patrols are doing some work. Okay, Anton's finally taken a hit. Couple. All right, now we're just trading hits, but I got way more armor. I got more guns, too. I still need to get the land target, but right now, battleships and carriers are a priority. Oh, there we go. Yeah, now, now, now we have a, a more advantageous firing solution than they do. We knocked... Oh, we blew off her B turret. So she's down to just two gun, uh, two turrets. Oh, she's got a Q turret. She's getting smashed now. Wait, do you have torpedoes? Oh shit! I I guess I forgot to take off the underwater torpedoes on these things. Oh well. Gravy's already at 50. Yeah, okay, so that's definitely one of the bigger issues with, um, with the lack of large guns. Oh, 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 the second strike is out. Approaching an enemy ship. The, uh, the ammo. Four torpedo bombers are going after, oh, they're going after the battle cruiser. And she took a hit. Good. Is there any more? I thought that was I thought there was more. So Afton got smashed. All right, I'm gonna ask the cruisers to go into a um, a search line because I am really interested in going after the carrier that was spotted to the south. Speak of the fucking devil. Hang on, this could be them. Right back into line formation. Ooh. All right, let's see what we can find. Seems like the carrier, the the, the carrier, um, uh, the the combat air patrols. I'm sorry, are doing way better than I'm used to, which is nice. 
Boom. All right, that was an en that was enemy aircraft approaching. I do have cap here, so they should be uh, they should come out to help. Uh, oh, they're going after destroyer. So that's kind of what I was talking about before, which is one of the things that I wish they would change with cap. So this cap is assigned to the cruisers, so it will not intercept this guy because he's going after a destroyer. Uh, we fire one light AA gun, and no, it's we're okay. Though. I don't know if this is carriers, but I, I mean that one down there could be. This is the the right direction. Three bo dive bombers. Uh, a couple. Wait. DD bomb hit. Enemy. Enemy. Three enemy dive bombers are approaching, but then it's registering bomb hits on one of their ships? Am I reading that wrong? Oh, me confused. Friendly fire? I mean, they may. It's possible, I guess. Uh, I think I may have gotten um, a little distracted by just some cruisers, unfortunately. Because, yeah, I'm not seeing it. Oh, and the sun's going down now. I'm not seeing anybody else. So I think it's probably best for us to just um, probably retire. Uh, and maybe we sank that cruiser. Solid possibility. Grab control of these guys and ask them to head to port. My seaplane tender found their seaplane tender. I'm not sure if we sank much, but we damaged a lot of things, and it was a good test of our of our fighter screens. They did a great job. I'm very very happy with the way they worked. Back is killing me today. Ah, fuck it, eh? Uh, aired an aircraft. All right, while this is uh, wrapping up, I'm just gonna take a real quick bio break. I'll be right back. All right, let's do this. Everybody into port. Wrap up the battle. My experience with the aircraft is better than in Rule of Waves 2. So we heavily damaged the battle cruiser, but didn't sink it. Let's let's, let's actually take. Oh, we did sink the uh, the seaplane tender though. I mean, we hit it with 11 heavy shells. I would fucking hope so. So this took 17 heavy hits and a torpedo hit, and honestly, not she got off pretty lightly. We blew off two of her turrets, but she'll be repaired. I'll take I'll take a major victory. Latest army offenses have turned into a bl bloody stalemate. That's a shame. Uh, armed Mucha Cruiser has been forced to scuttle. Oh, seek internment, that is. I'm sorry. Feel like we should make a 26,000 ton merchant cruiser. Uh, us getting disputed border air. No, a few more months. I want to keep fighting. I've been itching for a fight. <laughs> All right, so more the the new Corvettes have popped, or the rebuilt Corvettes have popped off. You know what would be really good to show on here? Um, uh, their anti-submarine warfare number. Also, if they had mine gear, it would be great info to have on here. Birch might join. Well, good. I need a good. I, I need a. I need a good fight. I need a hot fight. Let's keep those docks going. And so that, that'll that leave only the big boys building now. Russia declines. Russia declines. All right, they didn't decline this. 
Oh, it wasn't in this way? I didn't notice it. Take a look at that again. Uh, okay, so I've got a, I've got two carriers and my two battle cruisers here, along with um, that is a seaplane tender and some cruiser cruisers. I'm gonna ask these guys to get some uh, combat air patrol from the land, and I will ask these guys to support the battle cruisers. And I will ask them to immediately ready up the torpedo bombers. Anything changed for sub warfare from two? Not so much. It's about the same. Um, it is a little bit easier to get useful information now. That's the big thing that's better is that it's it's easier to find useful information. You could just be on AI control. And this is a this is a coastal raid, right? Enemy aircraft approaching. Right here? Okay. They're level bombing. Okay. Airship's got a uh, bomb hit this run yet? No, but I also I didn't build that many of them. So they, it looks like they did hit the Chikuma there with a bomb. Uh, 500, they've got landed a bomb hit with level bombing. That's kind of impressive, honestly. Chikuma not have, this is a Morrison class. You've got plenty of heavy AA and you didn't get anything? Well, fuck you. Ooh, 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 found something. Squad Max. Uh, battle cruisers on the other side of the engagement, sadly. Svetlana already took some hits. So we know there's an enemy carrier out here, again. I think they got like one light carrier that we just keep missing. All right, the destroyers took a lot of hits. Like three of them took a bunch of hits. There's a big, big boy. Nope, that's not as misidentified. Colonel Jack hit by a torpedo. And, okay, that was a really good torpedo run. They just hit two of my guys. So, Colonel Jack and Ari, let's turn them back. That was Ari. Flooding's high, so let's slow her down. Right next to the base, though, so. Jesus Christ. Careful with those goddamn torpedoes. Jesus Christ. Just fucking flying by me in a really haphazard manner. And Harry, welcome, welcome. So they got a really good torpedo salvo in. They hit two of my cruisers. But my battle cruisers are here now. Uh, they are approaching. I do have Cap, though. Coming in and show my support. Well, welcome. Good to have you. I can launch my strike if I want. I've got them readied up. I think what we'll do is we'll just target this location and say priority target carriers, launch strike. Get my battle cruisers into this. Gravy and the Menace. Okay, now that we're here, we'll slow him down a bit. Oh, there we go. Svetlana just took two 12 inch hits. I've got a good cap over these guys, too, so I'm not super concerned about the air, enemy air coming in. 12 inch hit on a destroyer. Svetlana took another 12. She's stuck going in a circle now. Oh, uh, that probably... Uh, okay, okay, she's getting real fucked up now. That looks like an old ship, too. Couple more 12-inch hits. 
see a lot of ships, but they're mostly just destroyers. That one's new. This is where semi-armor-piercing rounds should be being used. Uh, Diabetes is still good, right? Yeah, and how's Jack? Jack is having a lot of trouble. So what I'm going to do is um, detach Jack. Have Diabetes speed up and head back down this way. Maybe aircraft approaching some of my destroyers. Svetlana hit a couple more times. They're making a destroyer run. The AI is much better at screening with destroyers than it ever was before. That's for certain. They're, they're kind of terrifying when those destroyer swarms start moving towards you. Uh, wait, 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 hang on. Ari, reattached, you should be detached. Only going six knots. And heading back to port. And same with, uh, okay, they're approaching, my, my bombers are approaching the enemy, um, fleet. Wherever that may be. Torpedo bombers are going after my destroyers. No heavy guns of, oh, the, I, I do have heavy guns available. Where's the cap not interfering? Uh, but I haven't put them on my destroyers yet. They need to be rebuilt for, um, uh, my, my, I have to do a lot of work on the destroyers. So there's all, there's the, the, the strike coming. Probably just going to bitch slap Svetlana, honestly. That's what I assume they're going to do. Yeah, they're going for Svetlana. Uh, and it looks like they missed. <laughs> I think they missed. And we still don't know where the enemy carrier is. I've never seen her. They're going. They're they're actually um, targeting my carriers too. I do have a, a cap here, don't I? Uh, oh no, I don't have a cap here, right? No, I do have a cap. And yeah, date is right down there, 1931. Our, oh, they're going after Ari. Ari avoided those torpedoes. I don't actually see them displayed on the map, though. I can't even tell where they are. Can I um, request some um, request? Yes. Land base cap for Ari. Ari, how are, how are you doing? Uh, I'm going to request max speed and ask you to just get to go towards land. Oh, oh, I found something. I found something. Hang on. There's no way. Because the, the enemy aircraft have been coming in from, like, this direction. So I think they're out here. And, yeah, that, that date is, is so small and all the way at the bottom is definitely going to be difficult to see. I don't, I think this is just going to be more escorts and shit. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Here, let's turn the, the cruisers around and head back out this way. We'll let Diabetes do her thing. It's just four destroyers. Full plane scouts are, ha are going out automatically. So they are already out there. Again, another false sighting here, unfortunately. So back out into the ocean. I guess we'll just speed up and see what we can find. It's like these little these little guys are the float planes. Too fast to be a carrier. Well, no, carriers are fast, but that, I doubt that's a carrier.
And there's the there's the sun coming down. All right, retire. All right, where where was it? Oh, I was heading straight at it too. I was right, motherfucker. I was heading straight fucking at them, right up their ass. So I only took out a, a, a light cruiser and two destroyers. I was gonna keep that going too. It, 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 the sun went down and I was like, ah, nope, mission over. Uh, in terms of planes, one law, one one plane was shot down in air-to-air -air combat. And that's it. They lost five aircraft, uh, three from AA fire, one in the air, and one uh, due to an accident. So that was even because they damaged a couple of my cruisers. But I I, I didn't lose my ships. They, they lost theirs. Uh, that our standard air AA director has serious deficiencies. That's bad. May I respectfully remind you that you endorsed this model a couple of years back. Wait, we don't have AA directors. Teething problem with the new equipment. We solved with more modifications. Well, I was mistaken. Do whatever it takes. Yeah, do whatever it takes to fix the problem. I can afford that. Uh, no, total victory. Submarine sunk a Russian Corvette. Russian destroyer sinks one of our subs. Our submarine was sunk by an aircraft. How's my invasion planning going? Uh, not not popped off yet. Yeah, no wonder there are deficiencies. It doesn't exist. It's a ser it is a serious deficiency. So my new my rebuilt Corvettes are my <laughs> can't believe I rebuilt Corvettes, but hey, it made them way more effective. They're out there now. Just out of curiosity, what does a modern destroyer look like? Because it's gonna be way different. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So as it says I can't do that on an X turret. So I can't do superimposed doubles? That caliber or gun combination? Is it the fact that it's dual purpose? Yeah, that's the issue there. Okay. So I can do like, um, like... Maybe just a normal single and then dual purpose it. Yeah, and then that would be okay. Go up to 2,000 tons. And then I can put a couple of dual purpose threes on there too. Although that would fuck up the... Yeah, it would that, that would not actually increase the heavy AA effectiveness. I'm not going to build these right now cuz I don't have the money, but it's good to know. Here's your action again. Oh god, the weather is always so garbage. Parkour. Oh my god, it's my old boys. It's my super old boys, my protected cruisers from ages ago. Squad Max. Straight down their gullets! Fire everything! Well, we took out a couple destroyers. Honestly, they did a great job on those destroyers. Really fucked them up. That was a whole fleet of destroyers that just went down in like five minutes. We can get Svetlana. Svetlana is going to be faster than us, though. It's a minor victory, but, you know, whittling away their destroyers is good. Long as you hit them. Yeah, Namakaze got snapped in half. She took 13 hits. I think their cruiser got her. Look, 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 keep seeing hits. Is someone still shooting her? Someone's still over there? I want this last one right here, though. All right, there's another hit.
Hey, 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 hey. Who said you could live? There is somebody down there. Yeah, so there is a there's a damage destroyer going after one of my damage destroyers. Yeah, let's go finish her off. Alright, there goes Namikaze. Alright, murder, murder, murder. And so on and so forth. Hey, what are you? Turned into a real hot fight. I love keeping ships in uh, in service for a long time. These were originally built in like 1904 or something like that. And just upgrades on upgrades and upgrades have kept them fighting effective in the right circumstances. Couple, a couple good hits on Svetlana might slow her down. Here, let's uh, let's switch to line of breasts because this is a chase, and hopefully at some point they'll actually get a, an op an opportunity to uh, switch positions. No, I gotta fly. Although, with this destroyer we hit again. Ha 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 ha, fuck you. All right, that was like five or six enemy destroyers down. I'll take it. Given the fact it was a couple old ships and in a misty, misty morning. I'm cool with that. Five enemy destroyers for one. I, I, that's, that's, I will take that. Well, honestly, the victory points aren't that hot high yet because oh. uh, I think that's the 1899 one. Um, this one will hail quietly and discreetly. Night blimps. Destroyers. Some of the destroyers are fairly old. A Japanese cruiser interred in a neutral port. Um, so, like, some of my... The Eliminators go back to 1906. And those were the Varkours were oh, it's 1906. I thought they were thought they were older than that. They've seen a lot of fighting. Okay, this one this one's from 1899, if I remember correctly. I think this is the one from 1899. One one of my Corvettes is still legacy from the very start of the game. Small engagement. Unable to challenge our force. Okay, we gain points. Agent's been caught in Italy. Make him a hero. Fuck the Italians. Close to mastering three and four inch dual purpose mountings. Our, fir our firmly fleet, our fleet firmly in control of the waters of the Northern Pacific. Our troops have landed in Kamchatka. Submarine took out one of our corvettes at a spirited gun duel. Our submarine took out a Russian destroyer. Destroyer took out uh, one of our destroyers took out an enemy sub. Uh, our destroyer took uh, struck a mine in Northern Asia. A lot of ancillary stuff going on. Enemy merchants suck nine. Now the ones in Northern Europe are out there doing work. Battle in support of Land Comet. There's nobody up there. Cruiser action around the home islands. What do we got? What do we got? All right, nobody else. So I'm just going to do cap. Request cap. Squad max. I have not. I've only seen one Russian capital ship so far. Oh, now there's Russian capital ships. The, the one time I don't spawn in a bunch of fucking cruisers and destroyer swarms and fuck off, what's it called, carriers and everything. The only time I see some Russians. All right, what are they, what do their battle cruisers look like? So we've seen this before. Oh, they're all the same. We've landed plenty of hits already. Uh, my land stuff does not. Okay, my land, my my land bases don't have any strike craft in them. They have fighters and float planes, basically. Uh, here, let's grab the cruise, the destroyers, put them on line ahead, squad max, and let's try to get them into a firing position. 
Like, my ships are better than theirs. I have more guns. They're newer. I have better armor. They call it a mine. Yeah, I know. Hang on, hang on, hang on. And they call it a mine. A mine! I love Ghibli. Ghibli's the best. Menace already has a disabled quad turret, but that is susceptible to happen. Medium bombers in your land bases. The th I've been I've been holding off on that just because they're so fuck off expensive, and I don't have any money. So we can we can fire some long range torpedoes on on low. So pop those off and then turn out a line. So we're trying to hit this one. Uh, we got one. Uh, there's another hit. I don't know which one that was. Was it the... No, okay, we hit these two with torpedoes. Oh, motherfucker! Well, uh there we go. One of the Russian battle cruisers just detonated. And that one just took another torpedo, which I don't think was actually meant for it. Uh, we are out of torpedoes, though. So I'm going to retire the destroyers to avoid them getting sunk. Uh, I think we just lost the bridge. Bridge damaged, but not destroyed. Okay, now this thing is dead in the water. Okay. You know, it's a little silly, but... Oh, I'm going too fast. How, how fast can you put the brakes on a battle cruiser? Yeah, there we go. Knew I left those on for a reason. Okay, that one's still going too fast. She got hooked. Okay, yeah. Now, so two of the three battle cruisers are dead. And the last one is damaged. She took a she took a pounding before the torpedoes hit. Stop exploding, you cowards. A lot of four inch hits. There's a couple twelves. My battle cruisers are, are getting some uh, some work in. They're doing they're doing their jobs. Medium damage. She's only she's got three of her turrets firing still. All right, that was a bunch of hits. I think we slowed her down too. She's headed towards one of the batteries. It's only a six inch coastal battery, but those things can do some work on. The superstructure. They are firing now. I gotta say, I think the I think for the Russians losing three capital ships is gonna be pretty devastating. As long as we can get this one. Menace limits flooding. What happened to you? Oh, she took 13 heavy hits, so they actually did destroy the A turret. Torpedo magazine just blew up on one of my BBs. Just one problem, the BB doesn't have torpedoes. Are you sure? Sometimes I accidentally leave on the, the underwater torpedo tubes. It has been known to happen. For me, at least. How fast is she going? She's only going 15 knots now. Uh, all of our turrets are either destroyed or disabled. They do have a good destroyer screen, though. Fucked up a bunch of the destroyers just now. The Groznies have been taking hits. I, I really can't wait until we can replace the 4-inch um, anti-aircraft guns with the 5-inch dual-purpose anti-aircraft guns because the 5-inch guns are just way better. Way better. The 4-inch guns are a little anemic against the, the surface targets.
So, like, I feel like all the hits we've been doing on these destroyers, if they were 5-inch guns instead of 4-inch guns, would have fucked them up. She's down to 10 knots, heavily damaged. She got one of her turrets back online, just the uh, just the, the, the Y turret still firing. They, they've been doing a good job of keeping me at bay. Whoa! There was four more hits, though. Two more. There's three more. Heavily damaged on fire. The Y turret's out of action again. Okay, she's dead in the water now. So let's do one more pass and then we'll just retire. We're also running out of ammo. All right, now we just retire. All right, we sank the whole fleet of battle cruisers. The whole damn thing. That was pretty awesome. I, I'm very pleased. Especially considering it started with the... Well, I mean, like, we got a, a two torpedo hits in. One torpedo hit on uh, two different ships. Uh, but then the, the magazine explosion literally got it off with a bang. And yeah, the, the ships have been, um, have been doing a fucking... A, 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 they require a pounding because the biggest guns are 12-inch guns. They just don't have the stopping power. So that was all that was there, too. It was just three battlecruisers and some destroyers. We got them all. So this one took 16 heavy hits. Is this the one that blew up? Yep. That's the one that exploded. 4,000 yards. Jesus Christ. This one uh, took 47 uh, heavy hits. I think that was the last one. And three torpedo hits. And yeah, the, 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 that last, uh, pass was pretty bad. Although, I don't know. Let's take a look at this one. No, this was the last one. 127 hits. Fourteen thousand victory points. Woo! New Italian light cruiser, 8,000 tons, 32 knots, nine six-inch guns. It's a shame I can't zoom in on this because I'm assuming that's three triple turrets. Nice ship. Advanced directors, new fighters available. Let's see. See, that's the fastest. Spy on Russia? Sure, why not? It's also, it's, it's the fastest and has the highest range. So yes, we will take that one. Torpedo Bomber is a private venture. Let's see, faster, slightly higher range, but only with a light load. So it's basically, an even, it's way tougher though, and has a larger light bomb load. So I think I will upgrade that one. Uh, medium Bombers are fine. Most modern patrol aircraft will ask for uh, range and toughness. I'll be fighting in Ch Kamchatka. Russian destroyer took out a sub. Our uh, destroyer struck a mine and sank. 15 enemy merchants sunk. The raiders are doing a damn fine job. Yeah, we can spy on the Russians too. What is the, uh, what does the almanac tell me here? We have almost the same naval budget. But I have actually made it to advanced in technological development. They only have six battleships, 12 battle cruisers, no fleet carriers, but two light carriers. We've seen them a lot. Well, we've never seen them. We've experienced them often. And yeah, the mine, the mine one is a me, is a me. It's the only one that's a me they only. They call it a mine. A mine. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Russians don't have any forces in, in Kamchatka. All right, new medium bomber. It's way newer. It's got to be better. It's six years newer. Much bigger range, uh, much higher speed, more maneuverability, toughness went up to 12. And uh, let's see, same light bomb load. 
thousand pound bomb, thank you. Yes, and better medium and heavy. We took Kamchaka. Come on, Russia, collapse into democracy. I actually turn into profit now, too. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Okay, nighttime. Very close to Tsushima. It looks like the sun was coming up, though. Okay. So let's, uh, I'm gonna put you guys on AI control and have you, uh, screen for the carriers. The carriers, I'm gonna ask you to pre-prepare a, uh, a naval strike with the torpedo bombers, so ready that strike. What do we got up here? A single diabetes. So I guess what we'll do is we will send the carriers to support the battle cruisers. The battle cruiser is getting a lot of work. Haven't seen a Russian battleship yet. Because it's this night, we might actually run into someone fairly quickly. Over here, you say? Squad max minus two. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, I also thought that my battleships were over here. Okay, I mixed those up. Uh, okay, okay, hang on, hang on. I just stumbled into a fucking thing. They're also going slow because I was not paying attention. Mother Pitcher! Pivot! Pivot! Uh, enemy sh battleship! Oh, we found a Russian battleship! What the fuck is this? Am I right in the middle of them? Imperator Alexander III hit with a pair of torpedoes. Oh, she is old, too. Pivot! Okay, okay, speed up. Uh, order a flotilla attack. Maximum speed away from this nonsense. Uh, launch your fucking those. What are we ready? They are ready. Good. Uh, let's get those torpedo bombers out. Uh, right towards the enemy battleships. Uh, okay. Launch strike. Don't bother coordinating it. Uh, oh god, Imperator took three torpedoes. What the fuck are you? 12 12 inch guns, uh, 28 knots, 29,000 tons. That actually looks like a historical design. I'm pretty sure the Russians actually had a ship that was four triple turrets all like across the deck with no super firing turrets. I can't remember what its name was though. Dark Raver did just took a hit. Dark Raver took a hit. Wait, where's Dark Raver? Oh, Dark Raver is the lead destroyer of the class. That's what it is. The Gonggut. There you go. Fucking stumbled right into the goddamn enemy. Uh, oh, God. Yeah, she just took a bunch of hits. Uh, we already blew a turret off. We're very close to the enemy formation, too. So the... Oh, my God. It's... She took two more hits. Here, uh, let's ask them to stop that torpedo attack. Uh, Numakaze, I think just... Yep, Numakaze just took a friendly torpedo. Zet, do you have torpedoes? You do. Woo! Zet, nice torpedo! Zet put a torpedo into their battle cruiser. So this one's already dead in the water, and so is that one. Whoa! Something else is over the fu the, the fuck over here. Jesus Christ! It spawned me right in the middle of three different formations of Russians. What are you? More battle cruisers! God damn it! <laughs> 
Pivot! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Because Thought you were talking to me. Yeah, you have a whole class of destroyers. So we've already taken out two Russian capital ships. Lucky close enemy prevents turning into the wind. Stand down spotted aircraft. Yes. Uh, okay, so... I'm gonna grab the cruisers here. Uh, put them on line ahead and turn them this away. All right, these ships are both taking hits. Uh, this one, not so much the one in the back. But yeah, okay, you don't, this one doesn't have any guns left. One destroyed, three damaged. Okay, but they're both taking hits now. Congratulations, I played myself. Try to get these destroyers before they can get close. Uh, Gravy just got hit by a dud. Fucking lucky that I didn't die. Or did, that didn't uh, explode, that is. I didn't see those. I was not paying attention. I was paying attention to these two destroyers. I didn't see those two. Uh, there's a strike craft coming in. See if they can find uh, some enemies. Should be able to. They're right fucking there. Do not attack that destroyer. Okay, they're not going for the destroyer. Good. Fucking A, that was scary. Holy shit. I'm out I'm not surrounded anymore, so there's that at least. Okay, they're approaching something. It's probably just a cruiser. Three torpedo bombers are torpedo bombing an enemy destroyer. Uh, they also did just attack here. I got cap out, but I didn't see an intercept. Wait, Sebeli! Oh god, Sebel! Sebel's here! My 1906 uh, uh, weirdo double single 10 inch gun turreted guy is here. Good on him. Stayed in the fight. Yeah, exactly. Moral support. Did, is he, did he land any hits? He landed two hits. They're doing damage. I'm gonna try a torpedo shot at these guys. She is now adjacent, though, which is dangerous. Oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh, oh fuck balls! Okay, uh, it's fine. It's fine. I, it's, I, we're fine. Everything's fine. It could have been bad. So there are more capital ships out there, but we've pretty successfully fucked them up. All right, you guys can just go back. Everything's perfectly all right now. We're fine. We're all fine here now. Thank you. All right, now we'll just thread the needle between them and shoot in both. Dire oh my god. Oh god. Okay, that one blew up. Oh god, there's torpedoes everywhere. Man, these aren't British. Why are they exploding like that? What are you? Hey, I found somebody hanging out over here. Shame if something happened to you. Sebel's a little damaged, so I think we head her back to port now. Cruisers have done their job. Uh, the carrier uh, air group, or the, the combat air patrol is shredding the incoming uh, enemy right now. Yeah. Shoots down, damages, shoots down, shoots down. Several hit ammo. Uh, I don't know who it was, but we could check after the battle who actually did that. Just a couple of destroyers. 
There's some enemy aircraft approaching. Now, I believe... Okay, none of, neither of those have taken damage. Uh, do my torpedo bombers make it back? Oh, this one never left, so they're still red. No, they're, they unreadied them. Okay, ready that strike then. Stop shooting her! She's already dead! Alright, you still got plenty of torpedoes left. Stop shooting them. Go online to head formation, squad max, and head towards those two new capital ships coming at me. We're 50% ammo, but that's okay. We hit Imperator a couple times. Also, Dark Raver? Three medium hits and still going. I mean, let's see, what was it? Five, six, and a five. I'm glad she's not dead. Uh, all right, we ready for that strike? Ready. All right, so ask them to go to, yeah, the try whoever it is. Uh, confirm target location when spotted, and launch strike. See if we can get one of these with a torpedo, torpedo bomber. That was uh, is that was was that three more battle 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 doodles sunk? Oh, makes me feel real good when the when the combat air patrols actually do their damn job. Makes me feel happy. Where are those? Was that the bombers? No, that was my cap. I don't know what this guy's doing. She could be making a torpedo run. She's only got two submerged tubes, though. She was making a torpedo run. That was the, that was a bold decision. I don't see the uh, planes in the area. Oh, no, there they are, right there. I think it's probably time to tell everybody to go home and just let the last airstrike do its thing. See if they can land any hits. Uh, I, oh, it doesn't look like they're going after him. Looks like they turned around. Shame. All right, yeah, let's just uh, continue home then. Because that was wildly successful. Oh, they found something. They're going after a transport. Okay, they, they hit something. Well, they say they did. It's probably something that had already been heavily damaged and wasn't going to survive anyway. Because that's the tradition. Let's see if we can hit this. Probably just a destroyer. Well, we shot her a bunch. Yeah, 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 you can launch your float planes. You're dead in the water, probably gonna sink. Again, another successful battle. Combat Air Patrol, doing its thing, love to see it. That's one of the that's one of the major issues I had with Ruler Waves too, is that the, the Combat Air Patrols never seem to fucking work. Now they feel good. They feel like they're working, which makes me happy. Like, I tell them to do things, and they do things that make logical sense. Oh no, they're going after Dark Raver! Ah, she survived, huzzah. I love that when things that I want to make sense make sense. And I don't know if I lost anything at all. Eh, well, no, 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 this is what I get for talking. So I lost a destroyer at least. Okay, I lost a destroyer and a corvette. They lost four battle cruisers and four destroyers. So let's see. 
In that case, yeah, exactly. But by the time in five or six years, we'll get Rule of Age four and the eighteen. Well, you know what'll happen? The eighteen ninety start date will work, but the eighteen eighty start date will be <laughs> will be fucked. Uh, okay, this one ate five torpedoes. Was this the one that blew up though? No, she just ate a bunch of torpedoes and died. Let's see, this one got absolutely fucked. So this is not the one that blew up either because it got shot a lot after it died. I don't think this one is either because yeah, it got shot a lot after it died. Yep, this is the one. Uh, oh, a torpedo did it. A torpedo from the Yakakaze. Right there. It was a torpedo hit from the Yakakaze. Detonated her everything. Um, so three more were damaged. Their carrier was... Oh, their carrier... That was probably the transport. It's actually a shockingly small amount of damage for a small hull. But torpedo hit. Nope, uh, torpedo hit from a submarine. That must have been on the way back or something. Okay, uh, well, color me confused. Another 19,000 victory points. Russian battle cruiser the Foreskin has been forced to seek interment in a neutral port in South American West Coast. I don't know, what are they, what is it doing over there? Negotiated peace with us getting disputed border areas in some of their colonies. Press for hard terms. There we go. There's nothing I can take. Fucking poverty Soviet Union. But every point you don't t put into something goes into increasing your budget, so. And our new fighters are ready for service. Oh, my peacetime budget is almost 450, though. That's amazing. That is great. All right. Um, so anybody who's not in Northeast Asia needs to come home. Move to uh, Northeast Asia. There we go. I don't feel too bad about that at all. Oh, insufficient ships on foreign station. Okay, a couple of our clues can do it Shut up, baby, I know it. There we go. Genbra, thanks for the redoodly. Hussars indeed. Bunch of planes ready for service. So I'm spending 1,400 on naval aircraft right now. Uh, do you ever get ships as war operations? I know I lost a BB or two when I was soundly beaten by the UK. It happens... Very rarely. I have seen it, but just not often. Alright, so we've the only thing we're building right now are these two big battleships. Also, I I, I it's sad to say it, Cat Mandos did not see any action in that war for some reason. Sad day. Uh and just I want to check something. I did not get doubles, right? Yeah, no, I don't have dual purpose theirs. Cool. Oh yeah, we do have advanced. Oh my god, we have advanced. We have a lot of things. We have a lot of small things to rebuild off of, though. All right, I'm gonna pull the intel and actually keep keep intel on the um, Italians. Back our ally unconditionally. Reloads for deck mounted tubes. Oh my god. Uh, lower risk of landing accidents. Okay, okay. I can build my own purpose-built light carry. Oh, I don't even know if I can. Am I allowed to do that yet? Oh, I can do that. Oh, I can build my own light carriers. That's good to know. Uh, I might do just like two of these. All right, we'll knock these down to four-inch guns in casements. What the fuck? Clear that. Can I select all of these at once? No. Uh, clear them all out. Because I should be able to load the thing up. 
So I take it no power in the world has more than 12 inch guns then? I have not seen anybody with more than 12 inch guns. So I could load her up with four inch guns and put her on dual, du them on dual purpose, which is fine. Uh, fill them up with ammo. How many? 28 planes on it. She's only 11,000 tons. Uh, I will give her a splinter proof belt at the very least. And I'll give these uh, turrets. It was a very thinly armored guy. Uh, do I want more than 28? I'd like 32. How much is that going to cost me? Not that much. Another 1,000 tons. Okay. I like that. I like that. Okay, let's... um. Add on. It says this is I'm a little overgunned. So I think what we'll do is we'll take off a pair of those. Uh, yes, it was. There we go. And that should be fine. All okay. Load her up with medium AA. I like the medium AA a lot. There we go, medium AA. All okay. Okay. Uh, pick a name. One gone without mirror. Well, I guess it's too late now. I could fix it, but I'm not gonna. Um. Donsk. Cool. Large diesel engines available. Uh, let's make sure everybody's on reserve. And what we need to start doing is giving these guys advanced directors now. Uneven guns. It'll live with it. I think that's the only thing I could really change right now. I could give them more ammo, but honestly, uh, it's going to drastically increase the time. So I think we'll go without. We'll just improve the directors on everybody. The blue sharks uh, might uh, are about needing a new engine now, though. So maybe they get a oh shit! I can put diesel engines in there. Can I get them up to twenty six knots? Can I get them up to twenty five knots. These don't have heavy AA on them. But I don't have the do the doubles yet, so I guess we'll just leave that. More fire. It's already at max. If, if anything, uh, that that extra fire control position takes up dockside load. Uh, dockside. I always say dockside load. Topside load. Fuck me. So I guess we'll do 25 knots. Although, is that even worth it? We're designed for rebuild. The engines are from 1916. Wait, how did I get oiled turbines on these in 1960? Oh, I must have rebuilt the engines before that then. Probably around 1920. But they're starting to slow down, which is not good. A lot of the ships are starting to slow down. So yeah, replace the machinery and get them up to 25 knots. All this is basically fine, though. And then do the advanced director. Save that. It's only two ships, so... Right. The buzzards are not going to be long. The Unterversalises. All right, here. Let's let's do some of the easy ones though. Improve director, save and finish. These guys open for rebuild. Advanced director, save and finish. Could have director for secondary. We can add that on there too. Cool. All right, and then we'll just. Pass a turn or two. 
Uh, airships are more reliable. Cool. Uh, new flying boaty boats. So, big ass range is what we're interested in. 450. Take it. Oh god. I'm dying a little. New docks complete. Alright, I'm gonna just put down two light carriers. We'll rename the other one. Nope. Don't scrap it, rename it. They want 17 more destroyers. I'm spending my money elsewhere at the moment. Uh, altercation in the mess. A incompetent poor ship handler with a disciplinarian problem complained that the ship's band on the buzzard could only play opera and not marches. Okay. Well, this guy seems to suck. Get rid of him. Uh, yeah, we can upgrade our float planes for range and toughness. Right, more of those. Reserve those ships. Stars can be completed. Oh, I forgot that these... Oh, Jesus Christ. I forgot that those were new constructions. My God. Fucking A. That's what we've been waiting for. Mother of God. Okay. Now, we can put these in doubles. And it saves a fuckload of topside capacity. It means they can actually have a decent amount of, uh, of anti-aircraft guns on there. Thank fucking God. Okay, so yeah, fill these, guy these bastards with medium anti-aircraft guns. There we go. Oh. Those are expensive to replace all those guns, but it doesn't take that long. And, we, and our two new uh, battleships are just about done. Those are costing us 8,200. Okay, upgraded torpedo bomber. Slightly faster, slightly larger range. Sounds good. Hate it when it gets to zero. All right, those are all done. My budget is going to be super green now. Base expansion Formosa's complete. I forgot that I even did that. All righty, so the buzzards now have way more guns. Okay, Untraversalises are starting, they have coal turbines, so they're definitely up, uh, due for an upgrade. I can definitely get those up to 26 knots. Um, and then what we'll do here is just this. Yeah. Max, max those out. And then load her up with medium anti-aircraft guns. Oh, it frees up so much deck space. Oh, and... Advanced directors. You could be a little overweight. It's fine. So the Unterversalises will all get redone. Catmandos! What do you got? You got five... Okay, yeah, you got the same... The, the like... This has been a standard configuration for me for a while now. Is 12 fives and then a bunch of fours. So now we do, the advanced directors are already on there. We just load her up with medium anti-aircraft guns. This is, I'm actually feeling pretty good about this run. It's been a lot of fun. And I haven't been super ragey about air stuff. Which is a nice change of pace. Cat Mandos gets redone. Kuthalin's done. So, oh my god, I have so many battleships now. I mean, a lot of them are sitting in here right now. <laughs> yeah, look at, look at these bad boys, though. I can, I can, I can, I can improve these two, even. They just finished, and I can immediately improve them. Uh, okay, let's, let's keep going down the list. Yep, we just gotta keep going down the list. I, I'm building more carriers right now. I've got two more light carriers coming. 
Uh, okay, so yeah, just do that. And then add in a bunch of these. It feels good to be able to uh, uh, put on a decent amount of anti-aircraft guns now. Feels real good. Yeah, the Delta, the, the all forward gun uh, ships always look so peculiar, and I love it. Um, so here, I think what we'll do is remove the threes and just dual purpose these ones. Give me 28 heavy AA factor, and then we can load her up with more of these. And then we can also give her more ammo. Cool. Save that. The stars is immediately going for a rebuild. New float planes, five years newer, a little faster. Uh, the slightly increased range. That one's got the highest range, so we'll take that one. There we go. Katmando's finished her reconstruction. More torpedo. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we're going to do some danger. Uh, Counterintelligence believes Italy stole anti-aircraft artillery from us. Well, obviously, we'll blame them and try to get those tensions up. Red Hot. Hoping. Spy from France. Get those tensions up. I could use a, I could use a, good, a, a good foe, honestly. Colonial crisis with France. If it leads to war, we are prepared for a fight. Okay, tension's up at least. Let's start spying on them too. All right, all right. So gravy, the battle cruisers. Open those up for rebuild. Advanced directors, uh, and then we switch these to doubles. So those are all here. Auto place those so they're even, and then we load her up with medium AA. Save. Okay. So the rum, the rum line. We're we're just we're, we're just working our way down the list now. Still in service. I think that maybe this time we skip over her and we go to the Sebels. Um. So what we could do here is we could replace the fives. Well, okay, okay. What we could do is we could take off the fours, replace the fives with fours. Director, dual purpose, and increase the amount up to twenty four. And then also give her more anti-aircraft artillery. And improved directors too. Yes. Oh, um. Take off a couple of these. I'd like it down a little bit more so we can fit on more mediums. There we go. Hi, Theodora. You want me to take little baby Theo? Sure. Little baby Theo, do you want to go outside with that guy? Little, ba little baby Theo. Little baby dog. Little baby. Alright, save that design. Okay, rebuilder. There's only two of them. Oh, so many rebuilds going on right now. And they're all, they're all coming off in bits and bobbles. 2% weight saving on armor. Or, oh, AA directors on ships. Fuck. And we can build uh, construction of purpose built large carriers too. So many things to do. My god. So many things to do now. Shiza. We gotta build new destroyers. We need to build new cruisers. We need to finish these reconstructions. Solve the problem. Oh, replacing the AA directors. Re solve the problem with the AA directors. B model fighter, take it, it was way faster. Okay, okay, okay. Let's uh, look at the next thing down the list and then we might have to call it a day. So we'll do the same thing. We'll decrease these to fours, increase the 24, director, dual purpose, max the ammo, because they're anti-aircraft guns. Uh, and now we can put on AA directors which greatly increased the uh, uh, efficiency of the heavy AA. So knock off a bunch of these. Increase a bunch of those. 
I know. A little baby. A little baby, Theo. Yeah, we're yeah. I'm almost done here. I got I, I've got I've got a I've got a little I got a little puppy here, begging to go outside. Who needs a nighttime poop? You need your nighttime poop, don't you? Yes, you do. Yes, you do need a nighttime poop. She's just been sitting here holding my hand. So I think that's it for this ship. Uh, auto place the turret so they're not floating. Let's get rid of the sponsons. I think they look a little silly at this point. Uh, and just save that. That's an expensive. Re Wait. Um, yes, that's an expensive rebuild. That's fine. It's four. Oh, that's four ships. That's a lot of them. It's fine. It's fine. Everything will be done in the next few months. We just got to ripple down the lot. We just got to ripple down the line and replace everything. But anyway, I'm out of time for the day. Close. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, I know. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Theo's being adorable. She she wants to go for her afternoon walk. I gotta go. So I, I will be back on probably Friday. Because I believe this is a four-day work week because of midsummer. So thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Pumpkin in. <laughs> Legger noch bald.